All right, how's your mush and she? It's time to keep on going. Should be able to take out. Oh, you're kidding. God damn. I. That's all because I didn't. Controller is not. correctly. It wasn't plugged in when I turned the system on, is the thing. Oh my goodness. I hate this so much. Okay. Give me a second to see if I can recalibrate this right. This, this might work. This might work. Can I? Give me. Oh, come on. It's not. Not connecting? I. Stupid piece of. God damn. Okay. Let me just relaunch the game and see if it makes it work. I really hope that it isn't just... <sighs> because if I had to reboot the entire PC, because sometimes that seems like that's what I have to do, reboot the PC, because if it's not actively plugged into the PC through the USB connection, when I launch it, it won't actually correctly connect. Because... In the summer, I need to let the PC basically just sit after being powered on for about 15 minutes at least to prevent it from heating up when it overheating when it plays something. But I, okay. Hopefully this works. Hopefully. There we go. Okay. It's just in the wrong input mode. Hmm. Big thing is that I need to go back to Witchbane Ruins, actually. As, as it turns out, there was a spell there in that room that I totally miss that I might want to have. So, I think it's Ambush Shard, if I recall correctly. Which do I need for... Yeah, we're already getting to pretty high levels of runes needed for a single level. It is what it is. Okay. In that case, I will simply... Cool. Alright, this thing is still very strong. Oh my goodness. Message was appraised. Cool. Alright. Alright then. That's just... Oh, oh, alright. Hmm. Don't like that poison. Oh, come on. Okay, and... Okay. One. That's good. That's good. Once I go over and find sorceress again, I'll be chillin. Thanks. Thank you. And can I? Mm. And okay, all right. And another. There we go. And oh my goodness. Okay. Hmm. And slam. Then on you. Still really, really good. Oh, but I don't have. Talisman equipped for the sake of a clip load. Whatever. Alright. And that should be it. So we just gotta go down here and get... Ambush Shard real quick. And yeah, it was right here and somehow I didn't see it. There we have it, Ambush Shard. Projectile fire from distance. Night sources of Sally. Another one, nice. Move from the caster, strike from behind. Cast repeatedly. Assassins said they often hunted their fellows. Alright. Cool. So then, actually, let's go to a point ruins real briefly. Talk to sorceress. Oh wow! I keep okay. All right. This might be a bit much. There you are. Shall we commence That's the lesson, and we can't say anything to her about her true body that we found. Actually, interesting. The way. Let's put on that, and then. Mmm, okay. Well, we can just keep that off and keep that going. Do I want to? You know that we, I wanted to talk to her. Get that up there, but no real reason to at the moment. Yeah, there are 
things down around here as well as... Hmm. Let me think. So that poison swamp. All these ruins, and if I recall correctly, a golem archer that will not respawn. Guess so we'll go kill that thing. Nice thing is that if I use... I want to use the silver foul foot in order to maybe try to get its great bow as a drop. That could be useful. First, let's uh, use my heavy great club. Yeah, yeah. Take down that archer and chill out. How long it'll take. Mm -hmm, mm -hmm. Should start shooting at me relatively soon, so use this thing now. Alright. Thank you. Thanks. And yeah, there you are. Cool. Just gotta dodge around that guy. Make sure he doesn't keep on harrying me. They don't seem to lead their shots all that much, so we should still be okay. But oh, right. We don't want... Actually, this... That's still pretty good. This is the bigger boost. We'll see. Soon it might be prudent to change that out, but we'll see. Come on. Oh, okay, alright. Damage dealt was not all that high, though. Okay, cool. That's just... Oh, alright, thanks. And... Alright. And another one. And... Okay, cool. Hmm, and just slip. There we go, and... You're not dead yet. Almost dead, but let's go for the critical anyway. Here we are. Goodbye. And anything dropped, or... Wow, we actually got its great bow. That's really, really nice, too. Can't use it yet, but this thing is good. A great bow black stone, crafted by civilization, now gone to ruin. Weapon of the Guardian Golem. Extremely heavy, great bow requires enormous strength just to draw, suggesting it was not designed for human use. Extends great bow, twists mighty great arrow that can penetrate through enemies. And this... Hmm... just want to see how much stance damage that deals. Through and through. Golden ring. Shavor through and through. And that... Let me see. Shavor skill through and through, and... How much... Stance damage does it deal? Huh. Great arrows. Not chargeable. Stance. Let me see. Through and through. Stance damage. Let me see. Hmm. Just try to find the description on here. The table. Great bow. Does not say anything about stance damage done. Hmm. So inflict stance damage. Let's see. Great bow stance damage? Hmm. Hmm. Bow stance damage. Huh. Huh. I see what happens. Might want to try using this bow on a. Let me see. Golden great bow on an enemy. Then that. Hmm. Ah, and it uses somber stones. That could be nice. I think it might be good to have. We'll see what happens. In particular, I think there's a chance it could be pretty good for fighting dragons. Well, that and the great epe, both of them really. I guess we'll see. Something like Grail. 
Hmm. Get that Bloodhound's thing back on real quickly. Kind of hard to tell which one it is. Maybe I'm just stupid. It's not a maybe. I want to see what the one-handed moveset is like. Oh, that's pretty cool, actually. Hmm. Okay. One, two. Hmm. Then. Hmm. That. Pretty similar for the jumping attacks. So, that is also pretty similar. Just keeps repeating that forward lunging swing. Lunging spin slash, maybe more like. Hmm. I do want to use this against some enemies. The boss of Castlemorn in particular is going to be Bloodhound's Fang Fodder. Another golden seed, nice. I think did I get another one in here? I only got one in Sifra. Need a lot of those to get. Max and Flask uses, which is 15, I believe. We'll see. Let's rest over here real quick before anything else happens. One blue flask would probably be good here. And... Let's see. And I only have one golden seed right now, so no, not yet. Okay. So let's get one blue flask, just in case. So I want to have at least one of them, both. We can correctly replenish when you defeat a group of enemies, so... Let me... Ooh, hmm. I am... Oh, alright. Hmm. Just keep on looking. Hmm, hmm. Oh, all right. Well, I missed, but real it's not like I got anything out of killing that sheep other than feeling bad about myself. Okay. Thing up here or mm hmm Okay. Interesting. Okay, all right. Then so the question is, are there going to be more octopuses over here that I can kill with the epe? Probably over on the other beaches. It is a lot more fun than I expected to just stab the octopus right in the beak and go for the big stance break. Because the question is, great epe is nice, but we also do have this lance. I actually kind of want to see, oh, that... Could be fun to try using. I just want to see. Hmm. Yeah, when you hold it like that, you're bracing it a bit. That, even with Scar Seal, you don't have 20 strength yet. Hmm. Then. So this with Impaling Thrust would be very, very long ranged. Interesting. Using this to uh, fight a dragon could be pretty cool. Interesting. Just comparing the range and those things. Great Epe is... Let's just see. It's Great Epe. The blade is about length of my character versus... Let's see how that lance is carried. Yeah, that... And there is a meaningful difference, but it's not all that crazy. Interesting. I guess I'll stick to the Epe in most situations, maybe. Instead, the poke attack is what I really want. I think at the end, though, in terms of piercing weapons, I'm going to end up sticking with something like Bloody Helix. But that will have to wait until around mid-game for me to actually get it. Yeah, for now, we'll stick with this thing. And just a bunch of cool and 
sunflowers, which I guess are okay, but if I'm one, gonna be doing holy damage, at least for now, I'm gonna be sticking to using weaponry. Sacred Blade equipped. So I can just shoot the projectile and then get the enchantment. That down there is, is that? That's not a grace. Okay. Let's go around this little upper area and then continue on. I gotta sweep my way down to Castle Morn over here and see how that goes. Hmm. It is indeed a it's going to be interesting, and like I said, this slashing damage curve your rate sword is going to be good against the boss. There. It is interesting that in Dark Souls 3, bludgeoning damage was really good, in particular because it was kind of the armor killer damage type. But in Elden Ring, there are a lot more beast-like enemies that don't wear armor and therefore have slashing damage effective against them, or just enemies that don't have metallic armor. And also just, they change the sort of orientation of damage types so that since they have a lot of golem or literal stone enemies in here, they made bludgeoning specifically good against them and made piercing the sort of anti-armor damage type. So it's really kind of a, sometimes you use piercing, sometimes you use slash, but bludgeoning is generally not all that good. Oh, but, uh, oh, okay. So in that case, I need to use... Oh, but I don't have any kind of pure projectile other than Flame of Frenzy on here right now, so... To see if I can sneak up on the... Scarab. Thanks. There we go, and... Oh, Poison Mist. That's fun. Was the Mist before Caster? Servants of Rot. So from Kaled Incantation. Was the Mist before the Caster? Cast while in motion, dwelt in poison, no rot all too well. Death that begets life that comes to all equally, that is to say, is the cycle of rebirth put into practice. Interesting. So eventually we'll get more exposure to a Scarlet Rot. The only encounter I really had with it so far, well, we saw the swamp of Aeonia over here, but when I went through the abandoned cave, there were these rot pools that I needed to wade through or more accurately use the dagger's quick step skill to sort of dash through. Because Rot is basically just stronger poison. It is kind of the equivalent of toxic poison from earlier Dark Souls games, except and this game also has some poison weapons that just deal stronger poison, so it's interesting. So what kind of backstab can we get on you? And... Oh, you are strong. Okay. Alright, and... Sweep up. And, oh, just a standard smithing stone. Poor misbegotten. But those misbegotten are going to be... The primary enemy we have to fight in the castle. It is interesting that... It's kind of like the demi-humans in Fort Height over here. Oh, okay, a bear, another bear, okay. The demi-humans and the misbegotten are two kinds of sort of quasi-bestial and oppressed races in the setting. And, can I... But, aside from Spirit Ash summons, there's no, never really an opportunity to cooperate with them or take their side. And part of that is just the fact that Souls games really... For all their strengths, never really give you a way to interact with characters in the world besides basic dialogue and violence most of the time. But, I think in a certain sort of sense, you could make an argument that some of it is sort of portraying the cyclical nature of violence and the dangers of vengeance. I'm definitely reading too much into it. Let's just kill that bear and... Okay, cool. Did I manage to bleed it? I'm not quite sure. The Bloodhound's Fang does do a bleed buildup, but it's nowhere near as strong as Reduvia. And over there... Okay, that's Red Maiden Castle, I'm pretty sure. Yeah, we... Work our way down, we sweep through here. Get to the castle. Finding some scarabs dropping spells along the way. It is interesting, because... 
The upside of Elden Ring's approach in terms of rewards, in terms of making lots and lots of unique spells and skills that you can find or easily miss. And it is interesting thing about how Dark Souls 2 oftentimes had multiple ways to get the same spell in the sense that oftentimes you could get additional copies of a spell from different places, such as eventually certain spell merchants would after reaching certain points of progression, sell infinite amounts of a spell, or in some cases, just they would be treasure in different spots. So for example, you could get the Lightning Spear spell from either getting it as treasure in the windmill area from buying it from a merchant, and eventually the merchant she would just sell infinite copies, basically once you hit endgame. And a lot of it was because of the spell slot system as opposed to the mana system that Dark Souls 3 had, and that Elden Ring has, and that actually the first Souls game, Demon Souls, had, which makes it all the more interesting that they switched to an equipped spell use slot system in Dark Souls 1 and 2, which again came after Demon Souls, so it was interesting. But, among other things, it also gave you, at least especially in Dark Souls 1, where there were very rarely opportunities to buy multiple copies of a spell. Because in Dark Souls 2, at least for basic spells, you could usually buy multiple from a merchant eventually, like I said. Give you, okay, actually this beach is enough of a side detour. I'm just gonna go there now. Can't exactly go back to, I hear a scarab somewhere. It's, okay, it's a health scarab, so not all that much trouble. But as I was saying, in Dark Souls 1, usually the only way to get multiple casts of a spell, besides certain minor healing or magic projectile spells, was to go into higher new game plus cycles and you know, get the spell again, then you would be able to equip the different copies separately, and therefore, you know, if you would get 20 uses, say, of a soul arrow with one equip, and you managed to get a second copy of the soul arrow spell, and that's actually one of the ones you could get normally multiple copies of in a single new game cycle, because multiple merchants could sell them. In fact, I think three different merchants sell them. Means you could actually get, you know, equip it three times, get 60 uses at base. Although, if I recall correctly, I know Dark Souls 2 did it for sure, and I think Dark Souls 1 also did it. At certain break points of a two, the attunement stat, you would just get more casts of a spell, and the attunement covered both. There was bonus casts, as well as the number of spells you could equip, period. And interestingly enough, some rare spells, and they actually went a bit harder on the mechanic as time went on, would cost multiple attunement slots to equip if they were special or especially strong or something, but a lot of times they weren't really worth the trouble, but a lot of it was also just eventually you could get 10, 12 or so spell equip slots, and after a certain point it gets so overwhelming that to a certain extent, having spells that took up multiple slots for the sake of somewhat increased strength became kind of welcome in the sense of, you know, I don't want to have to be juggling 12 spells that are kind of good. I'm just going to take spells that take multiple slots to equip and have, I don't know, say they all take two slots each and have six really, really good spells. And go between those, because especially if what you're doing is basically focusing on targeting various enemy weaknesses, without having to go back to a bonfire or a side of grace or something like that to switch out your spells. Once you've got all the damage types and maybe certain rolls like AoE and projectile covered, you really don't need more spells equipped. You have what you need, at least in Dark Souls 3, Elden Ring, and Dark Souls 1, because the thing about Dark Souls 1 and Dark Souls 2, like I said, is that they function off of the spell memorization use system, so that if you... You can't just have a mana bar that you can allocate as you choose between all of your spells, it's just every spell you equip has a certain number of uses, and they're not interchangeable, so you might have 20 soul arrows and 10 heavy soul arrows, but you can't really parlay between them, you have to... In most cases, you know, save your heavy soul arrows specifically as, you know, kind of tickets or more, most accurately D&D style spell slots for situations where they're needed. And then sort of use the soul arrows for other things unless you want to, I don't know, not have the spell you want in the situation you need. 
you have to be a bit more specific with how that works. It's a very, very different system, and it leads to different kinds of strategic choices. But the lack of flexibility definitely was not for everybody. And, okay, yep, yeah, we got a funky little poison swamp here. And the annoying thing is that on these zombies, I can't quite... Okay, the range on that is real, real good. I don't have a holy projectile or anything that would let me just hit them from range, and I don't have Whitney a proper death equipped right now, and I don't have... Hmm... Oh, well, that's right, I could just stay on horseback. That's right. The big thing is that this hits from the right side, so... To position myself very specifically... It's fine, though. Yeah, that's right, because Torrent is not affected by poison. Maybe in part because he is a spirit horse, and therefore... I suppose somewhat incorporeal, but... Oh, and all these... Oh, interesting. That's sad, we can just use... Claim a Frenzy on these... Slimes. Oh, and there's a funky crab. Don't quite like that. Okay. Then we... Nice. Good spell. It is very, very good for non-boss related situations. So when you have a bit of time to recover in between uses, the madness buildup is not nearly as much of a problem. The chance of actually hitting yourself is quite low. But it is a very, very interesting drawback that if you use the spell too much in a given amount of time, you'll damage yourself, drain some of your mana, and... Beyond everything else, it's also just good flavor. I like that. Focusing on flavor. Exactly, it tastes good. And oh my goodness, that was... Well, actually, we can just use one more. Got more than enough. Cerulean Tears. Question is where the rest might be, and oh, there we go, fun. Maybe if I... Charging up might not be so bad, but the, oh, the madness build up there is. Oh, and the crab has come. The crab has come. That's great news. It's great news for me. Let's re equip our great club and wear the crab out to a spot where I can hit it more accurately without other things getting in my way. So if I use stamp upward cut now, I can hopefully. Boys break the crab. Well, actually, we're fine. Thing is just weak enough to just slam down normally. Okay, cool. And we got some more crab eggs. Not that we were standing in particular need of them, but maybe eventually I might be able to use them with relevant items. Okay. One, two, three, four. Oh, oh, oh. Well, okay. So I don't think they can grab me while I'm horseback. While I'm on horseback, which is good. Grab attack is pretty annoying, and question is, if I get myself over here and go for a full charge, how well will I be able to hit both of them? And there we are, nice. Charge costs a little bit more FP, but we're still chilling. And that might be... I don't think these corpses spawn infinitely. In the Impaler's Catacombs, which is a dungeon in this area as well, they did spawn infinitely, but... Okay, so if that's any sign, and it should be, that should mean that that group of enemies is totally cleared. So what is this over this way? This is just a golden rune, okay. Then we, mm, if we fell down, that would kill us. So let's not do that. Guess the question is, since the Poison Mist spell granting Scarab was up north over here, on this general area, north of that poison swamp. Is there going to be anything more in this swamp to get, or was it literally just, okay, enjoy your medium size, even for this point in the game, Golden Ruin, and enjoy killing a crab, some slimes, and some corpses, I guess. It was interesting to run into those corpses, and maybe the poison bloom is probably part of that. Interesting. So then, let's just perambulate around the perimeter and just see if there might be anything else over here. Getting more Roa is always good for the sake of making those gold foul feet that I used to get more runes from 
slain bosses and certain relevant enemies, but yeah, it's just the more strength, the more levels I get, the better. Just for the sake of using better and stronger spells and weapons and getting more damage out of that. And that said, Elden Ring is long enough, and I kind of like Dark Souls 2. I do see myself probably hitting the stat soft caps of around 40 for physical stats, and I think the soft cap for magic stats is around 50, though. And with strength, if you two hand with 27 strength, your strength is effectively 40, so you've hit the soft cap there as long as you're two handing, but. Big thing is, we. Oh, actually, I just want to see. How much would Flame of Frenzy do to this group? Because you've got a group of enemies here, and this is perfect opportunity to just go with a big ol' AoE. And. Nice! And oh, we even got. Some stance break. Nice. So. And. Well, we got close. If we did that again, we would get madness build up, so. That was pretty effective. Nice. So they very quickly take a lot more from physical damage than from any kind of magic damage, so. Somber Stone and oh an Arteria Leaf, nice. Is it Arteria or Arteria? Crew it's Artery. Maybe it's Arteria. Maybe I should be stopped. Okay. <laughs> So then, oh, all right. Hmm. Let's keep on going, keep on moving, and we got some bats over here. And this, we'll talk about the Revenger, I think. So, almost to the castle. He's a castle more and one hero fights for his vengeance, only to fall at the hand of Lord Godfrey. Interesting. Okay. All right, and oh, oh, okay, okay, interesting. And can I? Mmm, the question is, how can I... Oh, we hit one. That was pretty good, but I... Mmm, can I... Decent, but an actual projectile would be better by far. Nice, okay. And the big thing is, is that... As fun as Scholar's Armament is to have... Frankly, I probably want... I want to get Gwinston Pebble back. Not having any kind of actual projectile is definitely hurting me a bit here. Thank you, and... Is that the Bloodless? Am I being... Yes, the question is, since this weapon doesn't have any innate arcane scaling, I'm wondering if... That's where that boss is gonna be. I'm wondering if... The Bloodless on it scales with, ar with arcane or not. It... Who knows? Frankly, it's not a huge problem because the blood loss on this weapon is not what I'm relying on or caring about in the slightest. Let's get into the castle. Get around here, yeah, so. This is. Actually, let me just check this little piece of ruin real quick. Should be good. Definitely think I could also be. Godric today. Stormveil is not all that long, and it is one that I've actually beaten before, so. Go through Castle Morn. Mm. Hello, hello. Here is our side of grace. Anything else over here, or. Mm. Let's equip. Something else, then, especially since. Scholars or Armament isn't going to be all that useful right now. Well, not that. Mm -hmm. There's potency. You want, and I can't use that right now. I would need Intelligence tier for that, but one day, eventually. Let's see. Oh, these are. Hmm. Can't use Litany of Proper Death right now. There wouldn't even really be anything particularly good with it, so... Let's put our Great great Epic back on and see. Alright. Cool. And then, and then, and then. Anything over here? It does not really seem like it. I wonder what this 
specific spot is for that. Nothing? I suppose. Okay, so we have an elevator over here, and... It does not seem like that portcullis is going to drop down and leave me behind, so... That's... Oh, but... Well, alright. What if I... Go back there and see if there's anything underneath that elevator. Rarely is there anything like that, but it's always worth checking. Where you have edge, yeah, it's just death. Okay. It is interesting how they all have a lot of empty shafts when, frankly, they just could have had a low pit. I think some of that might be. Not wanting to have you maybe get stuck. Have to do some sort of crushing animation if the elevator goes back down on top of you. Certainly possible. Hmm. So the big question is, is there any kind of secrecy and... Okay, there's nothing on top, but sometimes there are elevators with things farther up, so to speak. So I always feel like checking. Another part that goes back up and down, sometimes leading to secrets, and this is the Rebellion of the Misbegotten, but of course we end up getting caught up in it. So, they are weak to piercing, and this is a good way to fight them, okay, but impaling thrust would be good, so I- oh, well, alright. It still is quite good, but... Hmm. Thanks. Yeah, it's not the one-hit kill I might have expected or wanted, though. If we hit them while they're unaware of us, we can get pretty good. Hits off more or less for free, but I- Oh, and a dog. That can only be a good thing. And, alright. Oh, well, I Oh, please. I don't like this. Not like this. And I- Oh, alright. And, ah. Uh, dogs are- Getting in my way. Okay, if I try to poke. Oh my goodness. I. Oh wow, okay. I. Interesting. Focusing on killing my dogs might be good. Easier for them to overwhelm me, and so I don't really use a shield. Their lunges are gonna get very painful very quickly, so just using magic on them might be a good idea. Still, a Gwentstone Pebble should hopefully be enough, as long as I don't alert the big group of misbegotten on the big pile of flaming debris and presumably corpses too. Okay, thanks. Got my runes back and... It's rubble, but there are a few corpses, as one does. Then we... Come on, come on, and... There we go, it takes couple, but it's not so bad. So if I snuck up on the dogs, I should hopefully be okay. Think of it. Okay, hi. Oh, one, two, then we can... Well, ooh, alright, that was really, really fast. And, alright, then we... Ah, oh, please. Hmm, I wonder if a... Smaller piercing sword would definitely be faster, but I wonder if it would be fast enough to just totally intercept their charge. The big thing is, this is actually... The question is whether this would work better, because they are... It's mad pumpkin heads, guys, or... We just slash, and I think that if you bleed them, they freak out a little, so... One, two, three, four. Wow! That was simple. Sorry, I suppose. Not really. So, we can just get our great epi back, and without interference from the dogs, it should be relatively simple. And smithing stone, and I know that around here somewhere is... a bastard sword with a lion's claw, which would be a very, very good weapon for breaking enemy stance. Lion's claw is a very good skill to use for stance breaking, but that said, it would be best on a colossal weapon. Which, I do not have any Colossal weapons right now, nor access to them, so... Smithing Stone 2 and... Oh, hello. 1, 2... Oh, well, I... Oh, come on. Alright. 
that it was actually too close. That was interesting in a bad way. Let us continue our travails. Okay. Which in this case I'm using to mean struggle. So the word travail might sound like the word travel, but it means something entirely distinct. Okay. And... Yeah, another one for the words somebody learned from playing Pokemon Mystery Dungeon. And, okay, wow, we knocked that entirely out of the air. So, Pilling Thrust is good, but oh my goodness. Okay, did not expect that to be as... Oh my, what, 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 okay? Huh. Maybe I don't need... Scar Seal, because it definitely is hurting me a bit. And, ooh, alright, thanks. Stab and kill. Maybe, maybe not, and... Yeah, Impaling Thrust is great, but... Hmm. Running out of flasks and the like is not great. Stance damage is good enough to stagger one out entirely, but... Let me just see how much I... Sweep and, because it isn't piercing, it didn't actually do all that much. Okay, and, ooh, the startup is... Somewhat painful, and... Ooh, 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 mm, mm, alright. Thanks, two, three, and... Oh my goodness. This is a little bit painful. I guess the question is how much I can knock big misbegotten out of the way with this, and... Oh, goodness. Okay. Stab, and... No real point in going for the critical, but let's do it anyway. So we got that group of chimeras down, and... In an earlier version of the game, they were known specifically as Radagon Chimera. And Radagon is... The consort of Queen Merica, the god of the setting. So there are some implications there. It... A lot of that was somewhat erased in revisions and updates, but it's interesting. So the Misbegotten's bestial traits and the mingling of them is supposed to represent a bit of the Primordial Crucible, which is the original form of the Erd Tree, the big golden tree at the center of the game's world. And before some ideological changes was regarded as Powerful blessing. Oh, the Claymore in. Okay, that does have a lion's claw. Long straight blade, build with two hands, enough strength, one sufficient. Sweeping attacks, heavy piercing thrust, a versatile weapon. Skull the Red Maze of General Radon, some salt fort, striking pose of the armament, and that's basically the Artorius flip from Dark Souls. And if we go down here, what will we find? First time I went through Red Maze, I mean, this area, there were. Number of things I simply did not see. So what if I get some backstabs off at some of these guys and can I mm, dodge and can I Okay, and the backstab is pretty easy to get and shooting damage works well. And yeah, they have somewhat scaly bodies, so piercing damage is especially effective upon them. Big thing is get to earlier parts of the castle. Some parts seemed like I was supposed to get down to them. I saw at different points in time that simply had not found ways to. So I'm wondering what I might end up missing out on specifically. The ramparts up here have more misbegotten and Godric Knights fighting, so question is, let's fight the harder one. Use the opportunity for a backstab to get harder one killed. And there we go. Yeah. And thank you. Yep, that's good. Godric Knight, and... Alright, then we... Mmm... It's got to position ourselves, and there we go, and... This should take you out as well. One, two, cool. And... Mmm, more soldiers, more misbegotten. Have to behave pretty opportunistically to make this work. No reason not to be a little cruel and subterfuge use the power of subterfuge it's gonna say subterfusionist which is definitely not a word okay got one more misbegotten over there they've dropped some things in this execution ground where they're sprung up and another frog calling finger remedy but 
Don't do any player something that that would require, so... Okay. That down there and that over on that side would be to a different portion. Hmm. Number of things over there, bolts for crossbows that, again, I simply do not use. If we sneak up on you, we can get whatever this is. Backstab, and yeah, there we go. Cool. And we can... A steel wire torch. Interesting. And down, there, down there does not seem to actually be... If any place we can get to, it doesn't have any items, so... Steel wire torch, strength and dexterity, and the fire does not scale. Scaling the physical power on the metal wire will make dark locales and bees to attack enemies. Heavier than normal torch, heated filament, boost fire damage dealt, fire breather, blow the torch flame, spreading flames, continue to burn for a short time. Eventually we can get a beast repellent torch, which can be used to briefly frighten bestial enemies like those dogs, which could be useful depending on how much trouble I have with them in the future, but we'll see. In the end, there will be a drop down in this area that we'll be able to use to get to some other spots, so we'll see. And the piercing sword somehow broke that. Good for it. Oh, but over here, like this. Question is, what's going to be down this way? Oh, hello there, hi. And dodge, and can I? One, two, three. Nice. Simple enough. So down here, there's... This does lead down where the pumpkin head is. Or was, because I killed it. I killed him. And then... Yeah, I'm talking about the multiple pathways through this area, so... Sneak up again, get another backstab for the sake of... Somewhat quicker fight. Maybe... Some of the talismans that give you stuff on a critical could be good here. I'm doing a backstab oriented strategy and getting quick backstab kills. Parrying is not really in my wheelhouse in Standard Souls games. It's easier in Bloodborne and much easier in Sekiro, but in here it's... You really have to know enemies if you want to parry them, so I'm just... Except for Crucible Knights, where you really have to parry them if you want to win, and where I would say I know decently how to parry, I'm not going to force myself to do that, so... Just sneak up... Kill you... Get a Golden Rune, and thank you, thank you. Oh, but the flying ones are... That might be some trouble. Question is, if I... Is that... That's pretty good, but I'm going to need another flask, so... Oh my goodness. Okay, alright. Maybe I want to use the epee again. So if I actually just wait for them to charge and... So they seem to charge when I'm using magic, maybe? Sort of counter a magical-oriented strategy while they're strafing, and I don't like that. Okay, there we go. Takes a little bit, but... The homing is some trouble, and, well, we cast one too many, but that's fine. And that is the advantage of having access to a true projectile. And I don't think I could jump down in there. Maybe if I, maybe if I hadn't broken the table. I know that sometimes you can actually platform on things like this if you very precisely land on them instead of hitting them and breaking them, but... Down there. Oh, and there, there's an actual ladder there, too. Okay. Mm -hmm. This is a drop down with its own grace as well. Okay. So, oh, this actually. Oh, wow. Huh. I don't think this was accessible in that way. Lonely or so lonely, but you can't. No, you can't. You can get over there, but I. Okay, never mind. Not intend to do that. That is nothing, presumably. I look suspicious, but I never found anything there. Oh, but I <clears throat> there's not going to be an easy way for me to get back, is there? It sucks. I uh, that was not pleasant. 
I can level up one time, and that would be nice, but... Maybe I actually go for a little bit more intelligence. Maybe. Yeah, sh actually. Go for more mind. Now at least. But to get back around, I'm gonna need to... Well, I've already rested the grace, so whatever. I'm the castle. Castle Morn with. This is... That was a little embarrassing, I will say. Uh, so let's go back up, sneak around things, go back up that way, and take some guys out. Right. Mm -hmm. Question is, how much impaling thrust would do those dogs? If I was able to just preempt the dogs, would I be able to one hit them and not have to worry about other garbage? Probably, hopefully. We'll see. And yeah, that. It's a dog slayer. And, ooh, my goodness, okay. Stab, and out of the way, and, oh, well. That Kurt was not good, okay. Question is then, if I take out the pumpkin head, what will I get? I can't be backstabbed, so. One, two, Three. Oh, nice. And a. Oh, and yep, you don't stab the head, you stab kind of their shoulder because their head is that protected by the helmet. Makes sense. So let's just backstab this misbegotten. Go around the other way so I don't end up missing something like I did last time. Go and snake, snake. Because the. Misbegotten snake tails, or oh, they're just—it's just a Metal Gear joke. I do need to play that game one day. Then we, so again, they're back up here. But oh, right, we can actually just do that. Oh, but over there, I believe, is where that big group of soldiers and misbegotten fighting was. Question is, how am I be able? To... Oh. And Someone got killed, okay. Let's just backstab this guy before the other one does something. Nice, and then we... Mm -hmm. Can I... Oh, well, we can't hit with that unless it's actively in the air. I mean, actively on the ground is the thing. Anything drop from that guy, or it does not seem like it. I... Okay. And two, three. Oh, well, that knocked you down. That was actually bad. Not quite one that. Okay, cool. And two, three, and four. Nice. Took a bit more painstaking effort, but if it worked, it worked. Okay. Go down here, see what's over this way, and then we go the other way and talk to Edgar, the future Revenger. All right. Mm hmm. Anything over this way, or... This looks kind of suspicious, but very clearly this would be a fatal fall, so... I am not doing that. Question is what this is not Oh, okay, cool. Two, three, alright. Thanks. At least it was not anywhere near killing us, so... Backstab you, get whatever this is, which probably just another smithing stone, and yeah... Actually, two smithing stone level two, so that's actually pretty good. Hmm. This is... I still don't have... I think I'd want for... Still can't take this great epi to plus six, but I probably wouldn't even do that in the long run anyway. Because in the end, in terms of piercing weapons, yeah, I'd like... Oh... I don't know, maybe even Gods Can Stitcher, but... I forget whether Gods Can Stitcher is heavy or light, though. But another Piercing Sword would also be an option, and... Well, we'll see. But Body Helix is probably the premium option, so to speak. Wait to see if they actually go down at all. Oh, nice, so... What if I... Two, three, and... Okay, well... Maybe I should have killed one of you beforehand. Yeah, probably. 
Okay, nice. Die, and ooh, alright, thanks. Sub, and ooh, well, I- what? Huh? Okay. How did that not kill? Whatever. So Edgar's over there, and talk to him. Hmm. Oh, this is embarrassing. What I will say is that I think melee makes for easier boss fights, but harder levels. Magic makes for harder boss fights, but easier levels, because enemy trash mobs might be a little slower, but they also, you know, they're in groups. So if you have to get in close, it's quite easy to get overwhelmed. Big thing is that since my FP is competing with... Spells are competing with the weapon arts for uses, and that definitely makes things a bit different. It's the equation a bit different. And... Well, a spell can't really do that. It's not in the same time frame, so... Question is... How much damage can I get off on this pumpkin head in a short amount of time? What if I just keep on stabbing you? Thanks. Cool. Yeah, well, no stance break, but damage is still more than capable. Let's go back. We try not to die to the knights this time. The big thing is that if we sort of vulture them and whittle down their numbers somewhat evenly, we can make sure that by the end of everything, we only have to fight one at once. Which would be the ideal to handle them. I was so concerned with going for that misbegotten that I forgot that Godric Knights can actually be kind of a threat themselves sometimes. And, oh nice! Oh wow. That was very, very satisfying. Big thing is that we don't necessarily have to sneak up on them to get a backstab so we can just go like this. Yeah. And the flying one one went down somehow and I Oh, I did not mean to do that. Okay, and... How about... Okay. Thanks, thanks. And... Okay. But it didn't fall far enough to actually avoid the third pebble, so... That was good. So then, let's... Take... Oh, but there was another misbegotten here. Okay, cool. Thanks, thanks, and... Alright, just... What if I... Stab and kill. Nice. But these ones are... That's the problem. Thanks. Cool. Get my runes back. And a golden rune. And... That. And where did... One of the other... The big thing is making sure that we get... The winged ones... Down. Okay, cool. Can I... Mmm, can I... Jump it. Okay, nice. We knocked you out of the sky. And... Now do again, and who do we want to fight? We can get you, I suppose. Or we can use the piercing sword and just stab them normally, both at the same time. Okay, cool. Let's go over to Edgar and give him his daughter's correspondence. Down there, well, that would also just be certain death. Kind of go down to the dog area, but we don't really want to do that. Okay, then, cool. Anything else, or a butterfly and you? Hello. Hi. Uh, there's a face I've not seen before. Very hairy. Lord Godric himself. As ordained by Lord Godric himself. Actually, respects Godric. Weird. Rebel. Rebel. All an act. Sudden out. And disappoint you. Won't hold much longer. Sacrificial trig. Don't like this guy. I see. Thank you. And your debt can't weave yet. Must remain. But it already has. If you see her, her father will fulfilled his duty. If you see her, her father will well, in the end, the big thing is we got Kessel and Edgar. Gotta remember that we need to come back. Probably talk to him after we've killed. We and I misbegotten and gotten the sword back. Hmm. This is the way down to shore behind here. Take the plunge, you won't die. Seek boss, yeah. Boss is over there. Okay. 
Hmm. Keep on looking. I know that some of these spots we can drop down and get some stuff. Stuff down. Okay. Thank you, thank you. And that is... Ah, oh, stone sword key. Cool. It's good to check around the edges and ledges. This is... Mm -hmm. Okay. I hear... Scarab, maybe. Not quite sure. Well, we can continue. Oh. Backstabbing them with this very, very nice sword. So the tails are hidden. Okay. Message ahead. You'd think, right? Then we can... Mm -hmm. Alright. Uh... Big question is to get down here from there. Oh, and yeah, another one. Cool. Sorry. Mm -mm. Pickled troll neck and noble blood. Eat me, I'll be forever marred. Give the disgrace. Oh my goodness. Goofy. Imbecile. Then we can. Oh, is that a? Oh, that's actually slime. Okay. That we have our fire then. Down there, or not really. Okay, cool. And just... Hmm, alright. Cool. Two, and... Oh my goodness. Alright. One, two... Didn't deem it worth using another cast, but that would have actually saved me. Some damage dealt. Damage taken, I mean, so... Maybe... Big thing is, there's not a good way to get back up. Oh, hello! Stab it! Okay, nice. And stab again. Here we are. Really, really good stance break potential off of that weapon art. Okay. Smoldering butterfly, and... Let's see what's up here, if anything. Mm hmm. Let's see. Can't really climb up any faster than before, but might hear somebody and there is a chest, nice. Treasure chest, and this is What is this? The twin boy talisman, which Final hit of chain attacks and a confessor. Tradition of the confessors go to the secret of how they preserve men with their attacks, but strike of their onslaught all the more deadly, but it's actually better on weapons with short combos as opposed to the long combos of twin blades, because means you deal more final hits. It's kind of like the Omega Bullets in Gungeon, actually. It's the comparison I would make. Ones that increase the damage of the final bullet in the clip. And we can just try going down here, but hmm. We drop down this way. Will there be anything special? The answer is no. Okay. All right. Okay then. We can just try this all over again. Thanks. Hmm. Through stab a more, be more misbegotten in the bot. Question is, is there anything over? Oh, there were a couple of slimes, so. Here we go. A reward for checking. And just torch you again. Thank you. Cool. Pretty good spell, actually. It might not be amazing, amazing, but it's still fun to use and pretty useful. Mm hmm. But I hear something, and I. Wonder as to... Okay, so it's that scarab down there. We can hear them from pretty far away. They seem to kind of confuse me every now and then, so... Do this. Yeah, okay, cool. And then just... Flame of Frenzy it up, and... Oh, but the distance might be... Actually, it might be possible for it to miss that entirely, depending on the... Height of the profile. We'll see. This gazebo. Hmm. Go down and see if we can kill that scarab. Not that I really need to, but we'll see. And a stab. And another stab. There we go. Nice. Cool. 
down here is we have to actually clear that gap, so don't jump, it would just fall and die. Turnish Golden Sunfire for holy crafting. Not really important. Hmm. Anything else over this way, or? No, it does not seem like it. Just have to make the jump. There we go, cool. Fun making our way down. Jumping down that, I think there's some rafters that we can actually get some items from, but oh, we can't even get around. Get down without going down the rafters anyway, so. Be a way of rat group ahead, so that would be a good time to use. Flame of Frenzy, presumably. We had a beast repellent torch right now. Well, I'll be okay. And then we should escape, maybe. And oh, come on, alright. Thanks, just out of the way, out of the way. And this might be pretty good. And can I. Well, that. Kill, but as long as I can fight them one-on-one, -on -one, I should still be okay with stabbing them. Freya might be better in the end, though. We'll see. Hello, rats. And, oh, another Mr. Begotten waiting here. Oh, alright. And just stab, stab, and thanks. Mm. Might not have been all that crucially useful. That's fine. The so question is, is there going to be another golden skirt before the fight and a whip? And that deals st strike damage. Not originally used for combat, but as an instrument for pain. Simple attacks cannot be thwarted by pairing or even guarding, incapable of dealing critical hits. Okay. Hmm. So that could be somewhat useful, but mostly against things where you would want to deal strike damage. But oh, and there's another grace down here. Okay. That's nice. How graceful. That's... Besides the... Beside the Rampart Jail. Okay. Oh, so... That's where those nobles were imprisoned by those misbegotten. Interesting. Probably want to use Fire Grease for... The Leonine fight, though. We'll see. And just... Oh, interesting. And they... They're actually a bit similar to the Serpent Men from Dark Souls 3 in a certain way. And just one, two, three. Keep you grounded. Hmm. Big one might be some trouble. I guess the question is whether I can even get a backstab on it at all, which is... I am not sure about. And yeah, behind it would be good, but... They were weird, a weird sort of enemy. Let's see. Precious item ahead, and that would be. Oh, what? This is. Oh, a somber smithing stone. Not amazing, but not bad either. And okay, you can actually see that Leonine Misbegotten over there, but we can't walk onto it, and I don't presume I could shoot at it either. I do that with Dragon Rider in Dark Souls 2, though. And, hmm, hmm, interesting, I wonder if Slash might be particularly and specifically effective against them. Certainly possible. Hello there, and just dodge it, cannot backstab you, and, yeah, okay, nice. Didn't even, didn't one tap though, but we'll be okay. And, alright, that was pretty close and pretty dangerous. Question is, I think there's a. There are crabs over here, so there might be a giant crab. So that's. Prepare in advance with a weapon that would be good against a giant crab. Alright. Thank you, thank you. Ooh, alright. Hmm. Think, yep, exactly right over there, so. Two, three, and oh, alright, thanks. Cool. Die. Okay then. Cool. I would say that my instincts were correct, but I've just been through Castle Morn once before, so it's one of the few things I actually did on my run. My mage build. Fire arrows, and that could be good against that 
We are not misbegotten because it is decently weak to fire as well as slash damage, so. Switch back to Bloodhound Fang. Try this out and see how much this does. And yeah, that. In part, they're probably just weak to slash, but that's also just very, very good damage, too. Alright then. Hit and follow up. Great Epe might be. I kinda wanna test that, though. Okay, slash, slash, and. Oh, alright. Don't like that poison. Let's see. Jumping heavy attack combined with a normal light attack would be. Oh, okay, cool. Thanks. And can I stab and. Yeah, that actually did. It's 402 versus. Let me see. Hmm. Slam and. You know, it did a little more damage. I think a lot of it was just the fact that. Bloodhound's Fang specifically does have higher motion values on jumping attacks. Let's see, and just slam down and... And the other one is now enraged. Classic. One, two... Alright. And that should be more or less it. So that up there, or that over there, that's just the grace. Mm -mm. These are fire grease before going in the arena. Mm -mm. Okay. Alright then. Let's use that fire grease and take on that misbegotten. Should be more than good. Yeah, I think I can actually use. Bloodhound's Fang itself pretty effectively, so take this guy out. And thanks, and oh well, alright. Thanks, cool. Swing and just nice. Okay, good stuff. Okay, I alright. I mmm cannot Oh, oh my goodness. I, okay, alright, and just swing and okay, nice. Get back in and nice. Can we go for one more hit and there we go. Kill. Kill. Okay, I- alright, and- what? Okay, never mind. I- as cool as Bloodhound Step Finesse is, it's not the kind of thing you can really use against... ...fast enemies. Or enemies that aren't just gonna get immediately staggered. That was kind of sad. Okay. Let's just drop down. Run back through. This is simple. 
very, very fast boss run. So pretty soon I should be able to get uh, different. I should be able to get Blood Flint and Blade, which would be a bit better. And this is Castle and Edgar. I don't need that. Don't need that. Okay, cool. Fun. Going for jumping heavies would be a better use of my nice and just nice and can I okay slam ooh well we we're okay kinda hmm just slam okay nice okay all right and fire's good okay hmm need to can I slam and just thanks all right and can I slam again and okay nice there we go see just how much we deal with the critical and well all right let's just nice and there we go let's use this cool fun Take, grafted wood, great sword, great enemy fell. And an no, okay amount, and that is the storied sword of Castle Morn, Avengers weapon, Orchards of Anger and Regret, Legendary Armaments. Country now vanished, one surviving champion, determined to continue fighting, claim the swords of an entire clan of warriors. Upon the great sword to avenge the clan, raising all attributes for a certain duration. With effects were active, poise will also be increased. And that could be very, very useful for us. This is everything by five, and since we're kind of evenly between most things, and that would be quite good. Poise will also be increased. The poise increase is about ten seconds, and the stat increases for a minute. This is Morn Moan Grave. Okay, Moan Morn Grave. Never mind. Talk to Edgar. Maybe talk to Arena. The question is, is there anything in this arena? And we can't use Torrent here. That's sad. I even just get around a bit faster. I don't imagine there's anything really around here, but let's just check. Sometimes they do have items in boss arenas. It's rare, but... Mm-hmm. Okay. Let's check. See what happens then and hmm. Come on, come on. Okay. It's not look like anything, which means I'll be able to just go on a storm veil. After talking to Edgar and then to Arena. Which will be nice. That will be nice. Which is what I'm going to use on Godric. Probably. Probably Bloodhound. Probably, yeah. It's just, it's just that good. Nice and stormy. Good old Weeping Peninsula. Nothing, nothing, nothing. Gravestones and yeah, nothing. Cool. Let's go back to... Go to the first side of Grace here in order to actually reach him again, so... Hmm. Oh, there we are. Weeping Peninsula is now... Basically complete. Oh, but also, once we enter Stormvale, we can encounter bell bearing hunters, so that could be nice. Now we need to put our Ape back on, so yeah. Alright. But I still don't have enough ticket to plus six, which is sad. Definitely don't have enough ticket to pull seven, because I don't have that many of the other stones. Oh well. Shard, large shard, particularly large and particularly hard specimen. Mm -hmm. Then we go back to Arena. That should be all. Other than. Oh, but right, once we enter Storbell proper, the bell bearing hunters will show up, and that will be fun. The question is how I could damage him, maybe. What he might be weak to, what I can use in terms of... I don't know, weapon buff spells on this great epic. It's definitely going to be my choice as a piercing weapon on an armored enemy. Nice, let's just go for this again. That was fun. Thank you, cool. Nice. And another sanctuary stone. Cool. There we are, there we are. Cool. Nice. Hmm. 
Right over there. Yeah, we are at the point where... It's starting to hit. Point where it's getting hard to actually get more levels. So talismans will help me. Actually. Change my stats around, so I'm not too worried about that. But we'll see. Okay. So, these guys over there. I guess the question is how I approach then, and... You don't really see me no matter what. Right, and then we got you. Hmm. Let's use these ones. Oh, they're high. And two. And, alright. Another one. One, two. And now you're down, which means we can just stab you. Thanks, thanks. Die. An iron cleaver. Okay. That's fun. Used by the maltreated misbegotten for really large. An axe. Resentment swung wildly and relentlessly, often after rushing up to foes. Hmm. Okay. Oh, Alright. Take down the remaining misbegotten here. It's interesting you have their mark on them as the mistreated misbegotten. And we can't actually get any kind of visceral from them having fallen, though, is the thing. And... Cool, and alright. Now you're facing me. Hmm. Another cleaver. Words from shield, okay. Tower shield, why wait for a great shield? Is it handle, not for negation. High damage negation guard capacity, easy repel, commonly using the shattering. Alright. Hmm. Putting multiple misbegotten would be annoying, but... Let's see, and just... And impaling thrust to get them both together. Fun. Then we... Yeah, how much for the next level? Somewhat. Decent amount more. Hello there, Edgar. Hi. Fallen creatures no longer bound by duty, remaining days with her. Gentle nature remains intact, but she will be consumed by the flame of frenzy. Okay. Let's just go over that and have a quick chat with her. Leads all the way to Castle Morn, but it's not like I really need more guidance. This place is basically done, and oh, well. Oh, and the misbegotten got to her. The Cleaver. Hmm. Is responsible for this. I'll hunt them down and exterminate every last one of them. Rest assured, Arena, it will be done. Hmm. Find them the foul I'll hunt them oh, all right. Said, not dead quite yet. She's dead. Yeah. Okay. Well, it's time for Stormvale, but actually, once we enter Stormvale and get the first grace there, I think. Should be able to get the bell bearing hunters to start spawning. Let's just see. Bell bearing hunter. Yeah. Weeping Peninsula and Hermit Merchant's Shack. That's actually. There's. Oh, never mind. There are four of them. There's none in Weeping Peninsula. Master Shack. So, somewhat weak to lightning, but... I guess we could try a lightning grease or something. Hello, how are you doing? Good to see you again. We have finally entered Stormvale Castle. After some time. And this should be... Another side of grace, basically right by it. Hello there, hi. It's Grace discovered. Then, will Melina say anything? Probably. I guess not. Stormville main gate. Oh, well, at least you got sleep. If that happened, you probably needed the sleep, so... No shame in that. Big thing is, over by this Warmaster shack should be... A quest.
quest. Well, it was in. Well, boss. So we will do that real quick. We also did this, so remove that marker. The markers would be, oh, right, and then jail cave. Let's go over here. Rest real quick. Hmm. Interesting. Hmm. Yeah, if... Take care of yourself first and foremost. That's what I'll say. Last time until nightfall. Cool. Alright then. So, Bernal is still right here, but if the rest will go away because the hunters will show up. I thought we already bought everything from him. Okay. Rest again, it'll make him disappear. The big thing, though, is that it takes some time for the bell bearing hunter to actually show up. Is the thing. Oh, wait, you're already here? Okay, alright. Let's just use our lightning grease real quick. Fun. Lightning damage. There we go. I was not expecting that level of speed in this. Okay, cool. And just stab it. Oh, wait. What? What? No, no, never. Never mind. Okay. Hmm, funky. Not great, and cannot dodge, stab, and thanks. Oh, well, okay. Fun. Okay. This guy is bad dude. Real bad dude. And, okay. D uh, and, stab, and dodge, stab, and dodge, and, okay. Move in. Okay, there we go. We got the critical. There we go. Nice. And, yeah, that impaling thrust is really good to have. Okay, cool. And almost and oh okay du oh well never mind that delay was some trouble yeah I and did the doctor just not know or did the was the doctor not aware of the fact that you had sleep issues had it just never been mentioned but that light increase is useful though I should definitely try keeping that. Yeah, I wonder what she's being paid for then, frankly. And this should make him disappear. Cool. Hunter should show up now if we approach, so let's just use our grease again. Thank you. Cool. And we can just... Yep, there we go. Nice. One. Two. Three, and, oh, all right, and, come on, and, stop, nice, oh my, oh, wow, okay, fine. Are you immune to stance damage during that startup or what, I, okay, never mind, and, can I, okay, oh my goodness, okay, at least this shack is good as well to keep you away, but I still just, what, never mind, I, okay, cool, stop, okay, nice, dodge, dodge, oh, come on, okay. Tough. Oh, okay. What? Huh? Stupid. This guy's a real shooter. Huh. The big thing is... Now I'm out of lightning grease, and Scholar's Armament won't be as good. Yeah. It is what it is. Maybe, actually. Because it seems like he's immune to stance damage when he's appearing... I should just focus on doing damage while he's appearing. That could be okay. Maybe. Hmm. I think the big thing is honestly, I don't need to use... Scarsil for this, because it's not... Getting me to news on what. I am... How did what go? The castle? Oh, well, it went fine. I mean, the big thing is that if I got a real job, I wouldn't be able to stream as much. And I wouldn't be able to stream during hours you'd be able to watch. 
So at that point, given that you're pretty much the only one who watches anyway, I might actually end up quitting. You know, I'd still be able to talk to you every now and then, but I mean, we'll see. I'm just going to close this out. It's clearly not loading. Yeah, it is what it is. Well, that was funky. It, it's still detecting that, which means it really froze up. Let's just, yeah, end that task. There we go. Relaunch that. I hope it doesn't freeze up this time. We'll see. Yep. Uh, yep. Yep. Okay. <laughs> Popcorn chips. Okay. Mm. Mm. Well, after that mini boss, the goal is to kill Godric the Grafted, who's the first great rune bearing boss of the game. It's really the main thing. Mm -mm. Let's get our runes back in. Oh, there you're right here. Okay. Cool. 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 Okay. All right. Dodge it. Do okay. And get up. Stop. All right. Nice. Oh, okay. Cool. Dodge. Mm -hmm. Can I? Okay. Oh my goodness. Okay. I can't really actually try to. Oh my goodness. All right. Thanks. Oh what? Okay, that was really really fast. Don't like that. Uh, okay. Cool. Stab it. Mmm. Mmm. What? Oh. I gotta get this guy down first though. This is some trouble. Guess the big thing is that stance breaking him is the ideal option. But he's probably a bit too fast to really do that reliable is the thing. Yeah. Let's get instead of Gwynstone Pebble, though to be fair, that would be useful. Let's take Scholar's Armament and then we have to make it night time again. Nightfall, cool. Why are you talking about Team Rocket? I mean, English English language Team Rocket. Hmm. All right. Let's try this. Be a little bit more damage. All right. Cool. Dodge, 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 ooh, okay. That was painful, okay, nice. And dodge, and can I, there we kinda go, and can I, mm. Oh, well, all right, oh, what, what, what? Oh my goodness, okay, never mind. Okay, dodge, dodge, thanks, and dodge, mm. what if I move in to stab you again, and, okay, nice. Stop, dump, and what if I... Ooh, well, all right. Thanks, and can I just one more, one more? Nice, there we go, cool. Foul foot, snap it off, there we go. Got that guy dead. How much? Okay, enough for a level. Let's go to Bone Peddler's Bell Bearing. Twin Maiden Hunt's new item access, unfortunate Bone Peddler slain by the Bell Bearing Hunter. Falling items, thin animal bones, and hefty beast bone. Let's use that to buy stuff. So, all right, all right then. Let's just level up a bit. Hmm, what do I? Maybe strength, honestly. We'll see. There's banished knights in the castle. Banished 
Knight. What are they weak to? Weak to... Yeah, they're weak to Pierce. Also Lightning, but mainly Pierce, so... Focusing on this. Sword is still going to be my best option for the time being. Hmm. Let's get rid of this. But yeah, that's pretty much everything we can do in Limgrave. Almost, period. Said we'll still have to go to the Divine Tower after we beat Godric, and to get back through the tunnel, we need to get to Kaelid first, but for now, we'll be okay. Stormville main gate. Then, and we'll need someone who will let us in. Hmm. Okay. Oh, but. Even if I want to keep Scholar's Armament, I definitely also need... Let me see. Probably want Flame Fortification, if anything, there. At least for the boss, eventually. Should also take Glintstone Pebble. Alright, then. Oh, but Stormvale at night. I... Honestly, would probably like to go in here during daytime. In the interest of actually being able to see things a bit better. You can see the Church of Dragon Communion, you can see Castle Morn all the way over there. It's cool. Nothing over here. This is just a little bit past the Margit Arena. I did totally forget to use this shackle too. Mm -hmm. Let me simply pass the time, go around a little bit and see. Let's make it morning. Okay. Right. Time to take on the first real dungeon of the game. Hmm. Don't want to open up that main gate. Let's see what happens. Hmm. Yeah. The main gate. There's a bunch of ballistas all around. Just makes it some trouble to get to. Trouble to get through. Mm hmm. We're calling finger remedy. Nothing really. Liar ahead. At least someone's saying jump. Oh, and this. What is this? I. Oh, oh. Alright. Funky. Fire grease. Okay. It's not nothing. And this is... Hmm. Can't get up there quite yet, is the thing. How am I going to get back inside Stormvale? Something... Oh, this was... What that ledge was for. Okay. Expect faith. I'm not jumping off, no matter what you say. Hmm. So this is what that was. Flashbacks to being in Nam. Interesting. Keep on moving past this destroyed golden castle gate. Actually, it's not a gate. It's just, well, whatever. Mm -mm. Let's check down here a little more before I hop back again. I'll just use the teleport to get back up there. Let me see. Anything over here? Well, a singular tree in his lily. All right. So we have to actually go through either the real main gate, or the side path. Right, oh right, but that wasn't a jump off, it was a... Well, I wasn't softlocked is the thing. I thought I was, but I didn't even need the branch. Come over here, would you? Here we are. Thief ahead, yeah. Hi. Yep. I would advise against taking the main gate into the castle. Now they guarded, hardened old hands, opening right here. Don't know about it. Undetected. Very well. Which that I like for success, but he'll actually steal stuff from us. And the cool about it, undetected. Okay. Oh, I'm aware. And it's only funnier 
given the fact that I was never actually soft-walked. And I just thought I was. That makes it more amusing, not less, make no mistake. Actually go up on this ledge. Feels like Sekiro. Ruin fragment, and... Hmm. Okay. For here, drop down there, maybe. Is that... Can I whip this wall? Yeah, take a bit of damage from it, though. A bolt. And then anything up here? Can I even get up there? It does not seem like it. Big thing is that eventually, if you die in Stormvale, Gostock will steal runes from your bloodstain, which I would like to avoid if at all possible. And I- oh, hello there, hi. One, two, and just- oh my goodness, alright, can I- Stab, stab, oh well, never mind, thanks. Mm -mm. Projectile, projectile is good to have there. Mm -mm. Those birds are also in their own way kind of grafted. And that they have blades attached to their talons. Thing is that eventually, and actually find Gostock spying on us. He doesn't spy on you if you open up the main gate. But do it this way, you can find him behind you, and that will get him to open up a shop. So can I stop? Oh well, all right. And can I? Well, now you're dead. Come on, you. Okay. One, two, die. Flight pinion. Does it drop those? And this is smithing stone free. Well, not that amazing. I had a merchant wire hit. Oh right, they're marking his position. He gets back there once you progress a little bit farther. Yeah, well, they were attacking me, so excuse me. There was only so much mercy I could afford to show them. Hold the valley. And then we can loop back around, presumably. Look around up some of these spots. See if I can. Hmm. Maybe, maybe not. I wonder. Oh, well, alright then. One, two. Cool. Goodbye. Hmm. Stormhawk feather. Die. Oh, but if I. No, I would still need. Scar seal in order to use meteorite staff, so not really all that worth it. I guess the question is how much. how many of these? I could actually strengthen my demi human staff a little. I think I'll do that. It would help. Hmm. Decent amount of spell damage. And yeah, that that is a meaningful increase. Okay, cool. Mm -hmm. Let's go back over here. Take a slightly different route than before. Gatekeeper Gostock. And is he even still here or? It's here. Okay. Hmm. Eventually we'll be able to see him again. Sneaking up behind us. And the big question is... Hmm. What do I want to focus on leveling? Because once I get to 18... The... Once I get to 18 intelligence... I'll be able to use the meteorite staff, which will be a better option than what I currently have. Oh, and this? Oh, hello. That big thorny ball indicating, I believe, guilt, essentially. Works of the guilty. Get over there, though, that. Let's just pebble them down, and... Oh, goodness. All right. Oh, please, I... All right. Thanks. And, okay, that did connect. Some of the other soldiers in the castle also have thorns on them. Indicating, essentially, the corruption reaching them. 
Torvox Talon. Oh, nice. I could use that. Eh, it's okay. Talon's Roots of Fixed Legs of Storm Veils Warhawks has been first for human use. In Lightweight does not obstruct the Hawk's mobility. Hmm. Alright. Keep on looking and can't really go over there is the thing. And this is. Is this anything? I thought for a second I heard a scarab. Probably don't. Hmm. What if I go up here? I. Hmm. Big thing is making sure that I encounter Gostock when he shows up and chide him for his subterfuge and trickery. Hmm. Don't really seem to be anything over here, so. To backtrack to get him to show up. See how that works. Hmm. Alright. Rest of that side of Grace over by Stormbelt Quip side. So if we go back around, I wonder if we could find him over there. Oh, there then. Great. And one. Two. Okay, cool. Thanks. It's a bit of that range we have. And, hmm. Yeah. Alright. Let's get down over there, but also. Hmm. Let me check. Go up there, get that smithing stone, but we did that already, so it's no real trouble. One, two, alright. Good projectile. And we have one more down there, and oh, alright, thanks. Cool. Stab, stab. That also worked. Will he be over this way, is the question. Stormhawk feather, that's new. That is one of the storms used for crafting items enveloped in swirling winds, often used for arrow fletching. Hmm. Is Gostak going to be over here then? Is the question. How far do I have to go to make Gostak show up like that? Dodge. Mm. One, two. And we can. Oh, oh, another! Okay, I don't like that. Can I. Well, whatever. One. Oh, my goodness. Oh, my goodness. Okay. Let's just use that and. No reason not to just magic them to death. Okay, cool. Fun. It's not here quite yet, is the thing. Hmm. Flight pinion. How do we... How far do we have to go in order to make him show up again? Over here. So it is a matter of backtracking after a certain point. These holes in the wall are... Funky. Which is how I get to them and from where, and I don't think I can actually, can I reach that? Definitely can't reach that. Hmm. Since we're heading to where you group. So if I shot you with magic, oh well, never mind. Marred leather shield and that. Ah, uh, modeling and thorns, curse of grafting, sinister and deep, and that would be death and blight, and oh, you are a real pushover. XL and Greaves and a mushroom and okay, XL and Greaves. Damage on Greaves. Soldier sent the penal colonies. Penal colony? Huh. That hmm, makes me wonder. Fleeing ahead. Golden rune and down over this way. That's the question. Down, well, I did not like that. Is Gostok here now, or what? We're a projectile weapon. Hmm. Eventually, eventually, he'll show up back in that spot. If we progress a bit, because he's stalking us on our way through the castle. The question is going to be when he hits this specific location. Hmm. Alright. Check and is he okay? No, still no. Wonder how far I have to proceed, and I, I don't think I need to actually die for him to show up. Die and see him take some runes. I think it might be, maybe fighting one of those banished knights. It's possible. So eventually he locks us in a room with a banished knight, try to get us killed. We'll see if that. 
might be the impetus. I just don't want runes stolen from me. And you see, that over there is the chapel anticipation where I started the game, actually, so be able to get there again eventually. We'll have to go all the way through Lyrnia first. Oh. Most of the way through Lyrnia. Okay. Drop down there. Guess the question is... It really is quite pretty. Let's see how tall that rock pillar is, though, and getting shot at is not fun. Hello there, commoner. And I... I need to dodge. Okay. Interesting. A little more durable than I expected, actually. Mm -mm. No item ahead. Didn't expect message. No, I don't think I will. Okay. And there's an executioner over here. Sneak up on it and see. Actually, let me just check. I think this guy can drop his axe, but not guaranteed by any means, and I... Okay, let's just move on over. Let's go behind, go for a stab on this executioner top guy, and there we go, nice. Cool. And any item? No, not now. Hook claws, interesting. Fog is very pretty. Easter apparel blades work in the dark. Great effect. Pairs woke up to both hands and... It... Fog is personally some of my favorite weather. I will admit that. And you're gonna throw a firebomb, which will make that all explode. Or not. Well, no explosion, but... Weird. Okay, cool. And just... One, two... Oh, right. Wonder what his deal was. Thank you. Then this. St. Trina's arrow. Huh. That. Spread their teachings with their water lily. Become quite the habit. Alright. And cool. Goodbye. This then. Hidden path. Well, kinda. One, two. Okay. And a torch pole. Which pull along pull, that's a dark air is cannot be raised overhead, attacks at foes of flame. Coming down here, yeah you are. Okay. Are you coming down here or what? Can't even tell. Come on. Do something. Oh well, alright. Now will you come somewhere? Hmm. This just loops back around then. Way to get rid of some of the guys from before though, but if I had hit them too overzealously, I would have just fallen off. Would not been fun. Just oh, and this oh, hello. Well, I mm, this was interesting conceptually, but other than those sleep areas, I didn't get much. All right, it's a locked door over that way, and this is where we're going to get locked in with that knife. Okay, smoldering butterfly. Yeah. Okay, let's keep on looking. And I think fast here. This is liar ahead. Throwing dagger and that would be death. Okay. Locked. Okay, so there's a locked door there. Hmm. Let's check my notepad. Stormvale locked door. Hmm. I you can't do that. It's not an option. Foggy Forest. That was a Pokemon Mystery Dungeon game. Okay, so if we can drop down here. Might be worth checking for Gostock now. Golden Rune. Well, if you could do that. This is not an immersive sim. It's meant to be in order for certain things. You could skip everything. There, no, there would be no point in any of the content even existing. Oh my goodness. Okay, whatever. One, two, die. So Gostock will be found here to block us in there. Which we don't want that to happen right now. And can't get in there quite yet. 
Hold all that. Mm -mm. You're kidding. Mm -mm. Let's go back down to whip around to try to find Gostock and maybe that one location. We'll see. We might have to kill that Panish Knight first, which is not all that fun, but I'm prepared for the possibility. Hmm, okay. Looking down here would actually probably work, but... Yeah. Oh, no damage. Okay. Let's try one more time to see if Gostock is over there at the moment. Because if you don't find him, he will follow you all the way through the castle. Oh, there he is. I see him. Yeah, let's ask him what he's up to. I haven't died yet, so I haven't lost any runes to him yet, but I would not like to start anytime soon. Alright. Hmm. Take that. Some of this. Maybe use Scholar's Armament to fight that knight. No, you're not. Saving for you, all yours. And a grace mimic, okay. Be on our guard to spot you. He's strutting about. Goodness. So the question is, is he going to start his shop now or later? Oh, that would have been funny if that killed me. Not in a good way. Hmm. Big thing is, I know I might have to Wiki did say that might stop him from stealing. I certainly hope it does. We'll see what happens. Wait, we should enchant our stuff. I wonder if he'll walk us in now that we've spotted him, is the question. Hmm, probably still will. So I'm gonna need to be prepared for the fight of my life. Okay, another banished knight. A real one, too. Okay, cool. That go over you down, and this should be the guy. Yep. Oh, and there's a cutscene too. Okay. Oh, great. There's cackle. Oh, well. Oh, all right. And I did not expect that. One, two, and oh my goodness. I, all right then. Okay. Cool. Hmm. And just dodge. Can we hail and, and dodge? And all right. Cool. Hail. There we go. That wasn't so bad. Interesting. I think the key is past here. This is... No, it's the Curved Sword Talisman. This is Guard Counters, Curved Sword and the Swordsman. Blind Swordsman to regenerate this technique, allowing the opponent to strike, and to a well-timed reply. That was Millennia's mentor, if I recall correctly, indicating guidance of grace, without any sense of order, last resort. Find guidance to true encounters. Hmm. Can we escape now or what? Now we can open it. And if we find Gonstock again, I wonder what he have to say for himself. Rusty key for attacking is no. No. Hidden path, no. And Rusty Key walked over to Storm Vale, and that should be the one we saw just before, I think. Alright then. There was our sort of mini boss encounter. So the question is if we interrogate him on what just happened, will he have anything to say for himself? Go back to when we just saw him before. And he's still right over there. And it was very clearly him who did that. And not only did it lock us in, but it seems to have actually alerted that banished knight to our presence too, which is not great. Hmm. Alright. Yeah, there were some Twitter posts about that, and it took a while actually. So I was wondering if they would do it, but they eventually disqualified those entries. Well, alright. So once I get another grace, I think I'm going to... Go back to the start and see if Gostock will fire up his shop or something. Mm -hmm. See what happens. Yeah. Now we can open this door, presumably. 
Press the key. There we go. So we did that. Just have to climb up. What's crazy? Well, it's... Whenever you have a competition like that, there are always going to be people who are going to try to cheat the system in some way. It... The big issue is that detection tools are inherently kind of limited. Hmm... there, but we should be some ambushes soon, so we need to be vigilant. Jump over that and take you out. I agree! But it was unfortunately kind of inevitable. Did we can't run that way, though. Mm -mm. It's a stuff. Fire grease and that. Hmm. Get down through there. That was our original path of entry. Hmm. I might actually want a little bit of healing for go through more of this. That was just Banished Knight's area. And then somewhere around there, so. Hello! Hi. Cool. One, two. Thanks. Hmm, how sad. Whoops fell. Then and then and then. Hmm. Interesting. Oh, there you are. Okay, die. Palmer's garb and shoes. Silver pickled foul foot. Made of cloth, standard wear for commoners, no commoners with their wits about them left. Sprawling tree, thick embroidered cape, standard wear. One tree, branch swarm two holes, self imposed shackle, and spy voyage into the herb tree that increases faith. Hmm, so, get a faith boost from wearing that, I think. Okay. Then I believe that. Hmm, didn't really get down that way, but there were a couple of drop downs around. Should be other banished knights around here who I can take out. Check around here then. Go down this way, I think. Mushroom, but no, that is not going to be a way to anything other than certain death. Hmm. So then I probably like to use this. Yeah, I. Okay. This one vanished knight should be here. Yeah know about that so the question is could I sneak up on any of them that be an option or not that is not it keep on looking is that epic but I might have used something up too soon I okay all right let's just backstab you hello friend not really friend but and okay then just stab stab Die. Okay, cool. Fine. Cool. Good old stealth. Question is then how I... Oh, by dropping down here. Okay, cool. Hmm. Yeah, we got some things. Already went down over that way. One of the holes, but... Hmm. Get over here, though, would be... Different. Let's jump... Fall down here. The thorns. Arterial leaf, but that is. How do I get over there? Hmm. I. Hmm. Oh, by dropping down over that way, you can get over there. Over on that rafter, you can fall down from above, but I'd have to get above first. Is the thing. Hmm. Okay. How would I do that? That said, I don't think there would really be anything. That might be just a way to get back if you've already gone over that way, but I still, still want to check just to make sure. The platforming in Elden Ring is actually quite fun. They finally added from Sekiro the dedicated jump button. And never, how, never have I been happier in my life about a single thing. Oh, but we can't go down yet. 
Okay. Hmm. Think here or no. Where's the message? No, I don't think I will. Yeah, but we would need a lever to make that work and none exists yet. Gotta keep going up and grace ahead. Cool. Hmm. This might be... Yeah, there we are. Cool. This is going to be a good way through. That's great discovered and that Let's see. Rampart Tower. Let's go back to the start over here. See if he has a shop going now. Because we have spotted him. So, hello. Coming to find goods. Can't use one of them. Take off my hands. Okay, there we go. That then. Mmm. Yeah, the buckler's good for parrying. I actually want that. And a parry deflects, favors aggression, versus inherent stance, leaving open to a critical hit faster than a regular parry. Hmm. Okay. I'll take that, but most of these are not black and blood congestion, chopped up rather unceremoniously. Light from within, Cestus, second lowest weapon in the game, iron rivets, cut in pairs to hand and go to both hands. And chats are to form by bandits. These movement, suffer massive sound, a little damage negation. Same as that. Okay. For your success, do you know? Big thing is, I don't think he should be interrupting us anymore. We'll see. But that buckler parry is going to be my best option for some time in terms of parrying. When we get to Lyurnia, I should actually be able to get some skills. But still. Hmm. Let's keep on looking and see. This was that elevator from before. I don't need to get down there right now. He is, and yep, contraption does not move. You have to do it from an earlier point in time. Well, a higher up. Area draw string, fire grease, and that. Expire damage and send your materials. Sword string attached to the lamp. If it effect owing to its small size. Okay. Big thing is... Probably want to take this Vanished Knight out. Wait and see. When and where I can get a back turn on him. And there we go. Cool. Do this a couple more times. And just slam, stab. There we go. Good old piercing damage. Makes me happy. Go all the way up. This tower, we should be able to get the elevator working, which would allow us to go down the tower and get some nice things. Question is, can I sneak up behind you or... Yeah, we can. Cool. There we go. And another exile soldier over there. That's the thing. So to jump around onto... Oh, okay, cool. Not bad. Die, die, die. This over here is... Some throwing daggers, nothing all that special, and head over there. I it's just a hint of this place's existence. Oh no, I can go around that from it is not a way to get around. I just want to jump over on this block. That's the message helps indicate it. Mm -hmm. Going around this way should help me. Go to the top and hopefully activate the lever. Therefore the elevator. This is by gesturing. Nope. And then we... Hmm. Which way and how? I guess I saw one of them walking around inside here, but... Went back outside again. It's just a stealthy approach, especially if a piercing sword is doing quite well. Let's keep on moving. Where are you? Down around that way, and can I... Oh, never mind, but if I... Back, well, we didn't get the backstab, but you were just going for kicks, and that was not real trouble. Get over to you, then, would be a different question. That, oh, alright. Thanks. Oh, well, never mind, too. Shouldn't be much more, and Stormhawk's Feather and a Smoldering Butterfly. Oh, alright. One, two. Mmm. Some trouble. Maybe. I. Single Impaling Thrust will kill, though. They were about to use Stormblade. 
Smoldering butterfly. Oh, all right, fireball. One, two. Good stuff. Glad that the thing can go through walls. Somehow. So all of this. The question is how we'll activate the elevator. And let's I was supposed to do it on the other side of that part over there, which I might have been. The question then is, what was the purpose of this little area? To go back down around and check again, but can I? If I get up here, what what? Oh. Alright. Okay. Oh, but there's Godwin down there. Fun. Okay. Mm hmm. Big thing is, you shouldn't be stealing from me anymore. Gatekeeper Gostock should be minding his own business now, which will significantly help things out, I would say. Yeah, I gotta figure out how to make this work. There we go, cool. Hmm. For any of that, maybe I want to. Yeah, I'm fine. One, two, and. So, activating this. How? Is the question. Maybe I have to actually get all the way down and activate it from below. It's certainly possible. But it would not be convenient by any means. First thing first, we gotta clear out all those exile soldiers again and get my blood stain back. Okay. Hello there. Good thing that. Oh, well, never mind. One, two. Oh, and that kick still hit me. Whatever. Stromhawk feather ends. This is right there, and what if I. One, two. Oh, come on, whatever. Skill. That guy over there, we just gotta run in and stab, stab. Good thing this weapon is fast. Excel armor. That deep red cloth soldier sent to the penal colonies. Yeah. Oh, well, that did not hit. Okay, what? What? Ooh, oh my goodness. Alright. Before that another one hits and kills me, I gotta go down and stab. And I thought that would hit the other one too. Well, whatever. One, two. What sword are they using? That's my question. Well, you're not using a sword at all right now. You're using a crossbow. Well, I could have checked, and that is... Using a great epine, or maybe an estoc, or... Probably they're using a piercing sword. Damage iron gauntlets. Again, more mention of the penal colonies. So if I... Mm-hmm. This seems to be... Crucial. So, dropping down over this way onto rooftops should lead me to get something somewhat useful, at least. Well, this acrobatic ledge crawling is very, very different. I like it. Mmm, but get over here, though. I can't get there now. We have to... Hello there! Oh, and a big Stormhawk just... Stab and mmm, I Thanks. So using that piercing sword helps out a good deal with that. Said magic might have still been better, but all these talismans and dozen cross legged. Okay. Don't give up. Sleepy one. Oh, but this is gonna be interesting in terms of around then. There's a lot of things over here and not a lot of, not a real lot of ways to get around though. Hmm. So that item in another part, I think, be able to get to the top of a tower. Hi. And that, interesting. Hmm. Top of that tower and then so many ways to go in this one. It's a thing, and okay, rats are down there. I think that might be a way to that ulcer There is an ulcerated tree spirit here too, and that might be a way to get to it. And... Do the Mario. Okay. Top over here. Question is... Oh, wow. Alright. I know I've been here before, but still. One, two. Mm. Oh, great. I Okay. We need to find a way to limit their movements. Kind of force them on a choke point like path. And can I. There we go. Stab. Cool. Hmm. At least, unlike in Dark Souls 3, the crossbows are reliable. You know, that's strong. 
crossbows were powerful, it would be real pain to deal with them. It's just look like normal long swords of some sort. Okay. Hmm. Now there is a surprisingly large amount of things to do with Stormvale. Including certain NPC quest lines. Hmm. What's up here? Friend Prince of Bird and I have a claw talisman, and that is really, really good. Increase the damage of jump attacks. Assassins of Ring that killers by trade assail their victims will dress as birds of prey. Claw and an assassin. Already saw that. So then, so then. Could jump down there if we really wanted to, but it really be anything to get, and just birds over there with nothing no way up there and nothing to get from it. So question is where to next? And this was nothing of real note that dropping down there would just kill me. Keep over there. Keeping the bosser over there. Hmm. But getting that claw talisman is very, very good. Will be crucial. Hmm. Down and get down where? That's the next question. Drop down, did we? Did we drop down? I can't even tell. This is more stuff too, so. Hmm. This will get us to around where Regier is early. For better or worse. But no, I think this might be different. Maybe. I. And alerting the Banished Knight was not the move. And just dodge. Can I backstab you? Yeah. Okay, cool. Gone. Alright. And stab, stab, stab. Yeah. Alright. Cool. Hmm. That is a smoldering butterfly. Gotta run this way. Find some other stuff. This goes out over... The main gate, actually. Interesting how we reached it. It's very, very non-linear, actually, in that regard. One, two, and go. Oh, all right. Thanks. Thank you. Too fast for it even. Do I predict? Okay. Oh, but actually, maybe I could even open up the main gate. Wouldn't be too much in it, but it's a concept. Over to Divine Tower, among other things. Okay, I... Alright, thanks. So, you got a big ol' axe. Okay. Hmm. So then. So then. Keep on looking, and did I... Okay, there was a ladder, so I can't just go back, but... Huh. Okay. That over there, though, will... Get over... Oh, well, we could uh, use this to down that way, but if I do that, it'll be in a little bit. Okay. Oh, and there's that banished knight. Oh, there, and oh, come on. I, okay, nice. Great. Interesting. This is a dragon communion, banished knight. So I might actually, well, no, we'll be okay. And, thanks, and dodge. It cannot backstab you. Yeah, that's backstabbing. Cool. And just stab, stab, stab. Oh, well, I, nice, nice, and kill. There we go, cool. So they actually count as dragons for the sake of damage bonuses. Because they have underground dragon community, and therefore have dragon abilities. And I, all right. Oh, you don't see me, fun. Cool. That, good old piercing damage from this. Great FA, and, all right, dodge, dodge, okay, what, no, never, mind, what, what, huh? Oh my goodness, that was ridiculous. Okay. Hmm, hmm, okay. I just did not have the boys to survive that. As in... I just got stun locked. I got true comboed. 
Okay. Mm -hmm. I question is, will that exile soldier ignore me? If I kept going over it. Okay, well, whatever. Die. Die. Excel hood. Red hood. Keep their faces hidden. Hmm. Okay. Keep on moving. Wait, what? Can I... Okay, for some reason my jump height was getting constrained. That was strange. That was constrained. Constrained and strange. Two. Okay. Hmm. So the backstab was nice, but can't afford to be stupid about it. Okay, cool, and just die, die, die. I'm still sleeping. Smoldering butterfly. One, two. Mm -hmm. yeah, getting back to where I was and getting my blood stain back and getting a number of things back. It's going to be crucial. One, two. Three, four. Okay. It's a decently big blood stain. Not massive, though. Still not the kind of thing I'd want to lose if I could help it. Get down there and then. Hmm. Oh, there's an item down there. That's interesting. Hmm. So, what over here? Anything at all? Dead end ahead. Okay, cool. Then down this way is. Something, maybe. I... Aha! Uh -huh, nice! Stone sword key. That's fun. And there you are. I... Alright. Cool. Stop. Oh, wait, what? Huh? Okay. We need to just use this magic. One, two, three, four, five. Yeah, okay. I regret nothing. Big question is, there was another item down over that way. Don't have a way to really get back over there is the thing. Here we are. Here we are. If I actually wanted to, we could get back. Let me see. Stuff over here too. But that pretty far drop. I. Well, I. Okay, that ledge drop off is notable. Ledge drop off by cell tower. Okay, cool. Mm -hmm. Doing okay. I honestly probably want to kill this guy in a single hit before I... No, I want to kill the banished knight. Yeah. Okay. Oh, well, I... What? Huh? Huh? Okay. Alright. I was not expecting that. Cool, I guess. And just dodge, dodge. Okay, never mind. And I, okay, whatever. Okay, fun. Hmm. And all right, just let me get around back and backstab you. Yeah. Okay, cool. I'm gonna kill this other guy quick and die, die, and dodge and. Okay, nice, nice. Okay, cool. Wow, that was a lot of attacks you can do with just one chain and one starter. Which knight armor altered? Full set of armor covering the entire body, worn by knights, whether by misfortune or misdeed, forced to abandon their homes, each all accomplished despite their territorial losses. Still named knights. Okay. Hello then, hello. One, two, dodge. Okay. That was kind of cutting it close though. Let's see what's up here. This is the Nomadic Warriors Cookbook 10. Repertoire Stormwing Bone Arrow. Oh, wow. Let's just see what that is. That. Stormwing Bone Arrow, Stormhawk Feathers. Bring enemy stances and guards with ease. Hmm. Shrouded in Storm Winds. Alright. Funky. Down there. Hmm. I. Let's see. Alright. Cool. And, alright then, we'll just... Thanks. Sub. Oh, well, we... That worked well. Hmm. Crescent Moon Axe. Okay. Crescent Moon Axe. Long or jogging blade, long handle, name said to be stirred by nostalgia. Who was making use of its long handle? Alright. Hmm. Okay, I need to get... 
that then is the thing. Okay. You get a backstab on one of those guys. Of course he's gonna come. This is the thing. Clearly a backstab might be a good idea, but the question is whether we'll be able to get it off or what. Oh, a very high. And can I... Hmm. Now you see me. Cool. Just gotta use the right skill there. Were you over here? Just... Thanks, and... Oh, alright. Cool. Here's your dragon communion. Dodge. 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 And can I... This is of you. Well, no. Never never mind. I like that at least. Da oh, alright. Thanks. And cool. Oh, goodness. I okay. And... Oh, oh well, alright. I messed that up. Dodge. Uh, one. Two. And can I... Mm, some trouble. Dodge. Uh, one. Shield bash is actually very, very in the way. Okay, cool. Backstab with that shield bash is going to be crucial for any kind of victory here. Come on. Nice, and just dodge. Okay, cool. And then we backstab you. There we go. Cool. Okay. Then we jump, stab, hit again, take you down. Fun. These guns are definitely kind of a, some of the spiciest guns I'm fighting right now. Which is if I seek around the side, can I? No, I guess not. Cool. Actually, if I run away, eventually they should lose track of me, so. Well, I guess not. Okay, cool. Hmm. And just dodge and cool. Backstab. Alright, nice. And then we can just step again while you're getting up. And dodge. Okay, cool. Well, I never mind. I should get my runes back first thing. And then we can try to deal with them some other way. One. Mm, just do your thing. One, two. And what if I move around back and can I... Sup? Nope. Oh, come on. Okay, cool. Hmm, alright. Don't have any scarabs or anything. This is a problem, but I... But just... Yep, yeah, go for the impaling thrust. Right, because you don't have a shield, so I could use that pretty freely. Oh, I need to be better at knowing my moveset, really. Well, alright. Hmm. Go back, open up the door, maybe. Festering body finger. Eh, whatever. I gotta go to the bathroom real quick. I'll be right back.
I'm back. I didn't fall in. Don't worry. Okay. Keep proceeding. I like this music. Thanks. Glad to hear you're proud of me for not falling in the toilet. Okay. Some drop downs around here, which would lead to find some of the ballistas, but that is. I don't know if that's anything though. Mm hmm. Making my way through. The big thing is that I'm out of most of my kinds of flasks. That could be an issue. Ten normal arrows. And then. Wait. Let me see. Anything else? A ladder, yeah. Water down there. That would kill me. Hold the right. And yeah, nothing. And this, oh, this is where the golden rune. Aha, uh -huh, you can get here from that gate, sort of fog gate type area. But that's the thing, is that I want to take this guy out. I need to use magic. Yeah, okay, cool. Fun. The others I can get in other ways, but... So those guys are currently blocking off that part. Yeah, in order to actually get down there, I would need to open the gate. I need to go around some ways. So we'll see. Hmm. Some blood stains on my great epe. It's kind of sad. I really do just absolutely love heavy thrusting swords as a weapon type. So good. You know, having a weapon art in piercing s in impaling thrusts that can deal very, very good stance damage along with good reach, increased critical modifier, it really does kind of have it all. Really, though, big thing is going to be finding a way to get down there to take out those XL soldiers with the fire ballistas. And once that's done, I'll. Maybe try to sweep back around to the main gate. There were a couple of other wedges on the inside that I'd like to also find and obtain, though. Oh, but this over... Okay. What was this? Whatever it was, I think I already got it. Yeah, no secret passage ahead. So then... Hmm. Yeah, to get down there, I'm going to need to have to jump off one of these and get up top and... Oh, well, never mind. I may have... Oh, well, I did not quite expect that. Oh, thanks. Thank you for doing that for me. Shot the other exile soldier. So then... Mm hmm. Who's doing what and where? In that case, that's what I'm wondering about. Try up, but... It's a really good way to get there is the thing. Herba and... Wait. Wait then. Exactly. So many things so much easier. Okay, but I could have dropped down to there, but it's just an urban. Oh my goodness. Thanks. Oh, but we didn't get hit by the explosive part, only by the... Oh, nice. Okay. Only by the actual arrows, which was significantly more manageable. Hmm. An herbalist. That's a crossbow, composite materials, which is bolt, bolt, fire, and devices, more pliable than metallic ones, bolts fired to pierce even helms forged of steel. Okay, then, so... Oh, well, alright, thanks. Didn't think I was gonna get hit by that. Oh, well. Hmm. So, in that case... Need to... Hmm. Let's lead back... Over there. Some things to get, but we can sweep back around another way. Big thing is just lack of Let's kill this guy. Oh what? Oh never mind. I, okay. Can I what? Oh my goodness. That did not quite connect at all. I Another set of grace would be nice, but the big thing is just 
Need some glass. Okay, smoldering butterfly, and I know that there's grace past there. There's also a big lion. If I can avoid that lion and get to the grace on the other side, I can use this as a staging ground for further further exploration of the area. Let's not get spotted. Yeah, there we go. Okay, cool. That's these night statues. We've got the way to the Devon Tower of Wingrave. Which is not a place we're going yet. Let's rest real quick. And then, yeah, Wingrave Tower Bridge. In that case, we can... That line will go down quite well, too. Some greases, I believe. We get to slash in a fire. If I actually just applied... Eh, I could go for Scholar's Weapon. Should be fine either way. I did not mean to do that. Should be fine, though. Hmm, the question is whether I want to use Bloodhound's Finesse or something else. Let's stick with Bloodhound's Finesse. If I can manage to get around behind this line, I can... Go for the full Bloodhound combo and just not rush in and... Oh, well, never mind. I can slam and can I... Okay. Whoa, interesting. Hmm, uh, all right. Oh, all right. Hmm, can I... Miss. Miss. Oh, okay. Know that some of them have Lion's Claw. The Ash of War has an ability, effectively. And one. Can I... Slam, and, alright, and one more. There we go. Took you out pretty easily. Somber smithing stone, stone, beast blood, old thing, and they will not respawn. That's the important thing. Hmm. If we go back, we can recover. But we lost it real quick. And I still need more runes for the next level. It. Hmm. Definitely want that great epic, too. Put that back on. Everything left now here will be pretty weak to piercing, so we'll stick with that. Mm -hmm. Yep, and the Lion Guardian has not returned. Yep, we only had to kill that thing once. It's just... Bloodhound Spank was just so good against it. I had trouble finding that thing on my first playthrough with my Mage build, but being able to just stagger it with those heavy jumping attacks and deal really good damage to boot... It just, it did not stand a chance. Thank you, cool. And just one dodge. And, ooh, okay. Oh my goodness. Thanks, dodge. And, mm, one, two. Poking. Pokey sword. Go, cool. Got an XL hood. And one, two. Thank you. Bolts. Then we have you and just. Yep, a single thrust will do the job, and given how annoying you are, that was pretty necessary. One, two. Hmm. Question is, how would I be able to maybe open up the gate the other way without Gostock here? Hmm. It's big fire bullets. That's the question. Smoldering butterfly, smoldering butterfly, and... Oh, night is coming, that's right. Uh, time has not stopped passing just because we're here, and since we haven't died all that much at least, time is going to keep. It's not going to just get reset to morning as happens if you... Oh, I don't think those ones explode, though. It's convenient. Hmm. It's just the way back. You can skip a lot of Stormville by going in through the front, but you do, in fact, just skip most of it, which... If you want to see most of it, well, maybe don't do that. Hmm. Okay. Over here and just fail. Thank you. Another one should be coming. Get over here and oh well, alright. Thanks. So that did not break my poise. Broke my poise, I probably would have gotten hit by another follow-up too. That oh, another grace right there? Okay. Is that the one from the start of the castle, or am I just seeing things? Is I know that okay, so dropping down there. I don't think there's an item there of anything. I don't think there are any items there. That's just a way to get down from 
that rampart ledge. So let's run past those exiles and see if I avoid. Oh, I hear stone biting. Hmm. Get over here, why don't you? Or not. Cool. Run in, stab, and you get up there, though. That's the question. I just don't want to get killed like this. That would be kind of sad. Oh, but I don't think I have a way to get up there. Do I? No, I do. I do. I do. Yeah, this is tough, though. Just gotta keep using. Especially since now that it's night, I can't see as well. Let's get to another grace. Yeah, I gotta wait till morning. Mm hmm. It is an interesting way of encouraging you to rest graces, even though there aren't actual explicit uh, enemies spawning only during nighttime. The reduced visibility is more than a little painful. Dodge and out of the way, thanks. And that guy up there, that that's the thing. I have a good way to get to him other than using magic. Only way to get over there would be a drop down. That's a thing. Let's use Glintstone the Pebble. Then, then, oh, I did not mean to do that. The no skill aspect is actually pretty nice. And just. Mm, what if I. Can't cast that while jumping is the thing. Hmm. So what if I. Nice. There we go. Cool. That didn't do much, but at least got rid of them. And. Can't use that as a platform, sadly. Oh well. Don't think there was an item over there, not that I see, so... What is Consignor track? That over there is... Yeah, there is a grace right over there. That's the thing. Is there a way to open this? Maybe a lever, or... Okay, Ballista Bolt. Golden Rune and... Golden Rune. And normally would get that from... Well, if we had had Gunstock open the gate initially, we could just pick those up, but then we would have gotten turned into a pincushion, so. Got this. Oh, there, and oh, we can just push that lever to open the gate. Nice. So, also a. Oh, and this is right up. Is this right above where Gunstock is, or am I? Golden Rune. It's not a grace. The front side or the back side? Then gate side chamber, and this is that. <laughs> that is where Gostock is. Okay. So we'll be over this way. And this is just oh more another thing of common. It was guard, which I already got as a drop. Okay, cool. Hi, Gostock. And he doesn't comment on us opening up the gate. That's fine. Now it should be. Yep, it's back. We would get shot up again if we tried going over there, so... Let's just not do that. Hmm, alright. And they should forget about me. Oh, we can actually see the ripple on the other side now. It's fun. Okay, so... Von Tower's over here. There's no point in going over there until we've killed Godric and can actually open up the tower, though, is the thing. Couple of ledges I wanted to drop down to, but other than that, we mostly found our way around. It was around here, I believe, where we got to before. Got through about half of the castle, I would say. To the area down around here with a bunch of exiles and more ballistas. And this leads to the other boss over here. Meet some other NPCs, but there's also a crucible night encounter on the lower levels, which would also be good to try to get. Hmm. Let's do a quick level up and probably go for faith, actually. Yeah. That would increase my... I mean to cancel it. Increase the damage of Flame of Frenzy ever so slightly, so... That said, actually, if I was fighting the Crucible Knight, I'd probably want Merica. Merica seal as well, just for a little bit of extra faith. Pretty soon, it won't really be a big damage increase anymore, especially since I'll be able to get actual talismans that just increase incantation damage. So as long- unless there's a specific spell that I want to be using that- I did not mean to do that. 
Oh god. Hmm, it's getting down there. That's the question. Pretty sure there's a drop off that leads us there if we go more this way. But I'm going to do that after I drop down. To get the item, to get the rats. Yeah, big thing is not dying a bunch and not losing my runes. Hello there, hi, and even with shield, that went through and killed. Let's go over here then, and just in case I- oh my, okay, alright. I think, yeah, if I hold forward, it doesn't go as far. Alright then, and mushroom for pots, but I don't really use throwing pots. I will want to try putting enemies to sleep, but I wouldn't be using sleep pots for that, I'd probably just be using a sleep sword, which I can get later. So I go to Kaelid, for real. I'll be able to get the St. Trina's sword, which is a very, very significant sleep effect. And before you, or where all your bodies will just stab you again. Wait, what? Huh? Never mind. Target lock was... <sighs> messed up target lock somehow. Okay. Either way, there is an item down over there, so I should just drop down. That drop down would kill me, but let's see. You know what? If we're in the area, we may as well kill these guys while we can. To oh my what? Okay. I using free aim would probably be better for that. And well, I had enough of a hitbox to take them both out together. What a fun, what a fun weapon art. What a fun weapon. Hmm. So drop down where I want to go. That was the stone sword key, but this is a different. Some item right here. And we have... Okay, and just two of those smithing stones, but now I have... That might be enough to actually reinforce to where I want. Okay, here are the rats of her. That's nice. Let's drop down and kill some rats. Oh, they're high. Rat, kill. Nice, we took a good amount of damage, but... Rats can't do much. Okay, and run it and stab, stab, and... Mmm, never mind. Stab. Well, alright, let's just... Yeah, yeah, I gotta free aim it. When fighting rats or other small wood of the ground enemies. Big thing is, we could get a very nice weapon here, actually. Oh, but actually, no, I can't. That's right, because... Got a mushroom, but turn back. I can't... Oh, you can see me through there, that's funny. Oh, I can't even attack through here. Well, well, that's interesting. Can I... well, alright. This was an interesting concept. Especially since... oh, but they don't see me, so... Yeah, because we're on the other side of that fog wall that normally a stone sword key would unlock. But... So we haven't unlocked it, we were just stuck. It's a good thing that enemies couldn't see me through. Which meant I wasn't trapped there, but even still. What is interesting is that... The guy in Elden Ring's cover is a knight named Vike. And normally... Well, originally he was meant to have a long quest line. Based around the Flame of Frenzy, spanning nearly the entire game. But it was... Cut. Entirely. Other than a couple appearances he has. And as a result... There's that chapel over there. Basically, he doesn't really make sense as a cover or mascot now. I did not mean to do that. Okay. The big thing is that he was supposed to show up here in Stormvale and give you some medicine if you killed something for him, if I recall correctly. But it simply did not end up making it to the final release. The big thing is, with that gun, I... Nice, and boom. Not... Okay, cool. Oh, well, whatever. Never mind. I... Okay. What? Alright. Great. Not really. I... Okay. Well, now I'm dead. Actually, probably fine, because I didn't really want to spend a lot of MP here. Save it. That fire vulnerable crucible knight. Mm -hmm. Alright then. 
Hello there. And dodge that. Get in and okay, well we can just stab you over there. Oh well, never mind. Stab. There we go. Cool. Hmm. Focus on MP conservation and just dodge. Cool. Thanks. And alright, oh well. I killed one of you. That's useful. Okay, alright. All right. One, two. We have to drop down here. Should get us to another incantation. Praise the great tree. Jumping ahead, and yeah, we have to get down over here. Let's not fall too far. Okay, that was good enough to not take damage. But oh, if we drop down that ledge, we can get some item. Basically, the light is kind of got in the way too, but. So actually, that's the only way we can get back up, so no use trying anything else. Oh, but those other rafters over there. That's the question. How would I drop down through there? I am kind of at a loss. Well, I don't think there is an item, but we'll see. Try to figure out the geography of that other point. Hmm. The marred wooden shield, but I already had one of those, actually, I think. I think I... Did I? Rafting is such affliction. Modeling in thorns. Let me just check real quick. I... Hmm. I had... Oh, marred leather shield and marred wooden shield. It's the same, basically. The root is that giant, weird godwin face from before. Let's see, and... We gotta equip our buckler when we fight the Crucible Knight, which should be around here. Yep, we gotta go all the way down. Let's equip that buckler. Should be good. Switch to our seal in that hand. For that, probably tears up. Now, oh, but that drop is gonna. Oh, well. Never mind, because that was a special fall. So, never mind. Okay, cool. And we can just stab, 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 and what we're gonna get? I should wore Storm Assault. Well, the affinity attempts Storm Veil, leap forward through surrounding storm winds, must armament downward, produce even more storm winds at the point of impact. Well, alright. Cool. Just gotta parry that Crucible Knight. Switch to. America. Yeah. Okay. You're over there, so if we just parry you and hit with fire, dodge, and thanks, dodge, okay, I go for attacks, we can reliably parry, nice, and just flame, nice, cool, oh, well, never mind, okay, we have to parry this, catch flame might be better, thanks, and burn, burn, and thanks, that was okay. Hmm. Nice, and burn. Cool. Yeah, alright. Dodge. Okay. Dodge. Hmm. Nice. I. What you gonna do? Thanks. Nice. Burn. Cool. Okay. Oh. Right. Oh, well. No, okay. Huh. Never mind. Okay. Hmm. Catch Flame is still going to be better for this. Kind of sad, honestly, but we take those. Hmm. Now, the speed of that is simply unmatched. Speed is what I need. Oh, they're high. Nice. Cool. Getting close. And I mean, sad. Or whatever. Thanks. Ah. Kinda annoying. Just gotta make sure you don't kill me with that and cannot. Okay, never mind. Oh well. Couldn't get. Want to kill the other like I wanted and kind of expected, so whatever one. Two and. Okay, never. Okay. Getting close and what are we gonna do? Gonna, okay. Ah, oh, never mind. Let me stab, stab. Okay, cool. Hmm. Drop down again. 
Yeah. The buckle parry is quite good for this. There's no mistake about that. But I'm definitely going to need to use catch one instead of flame of frenzy. And it was cool to try to use flame of frenzy, but it took way too long to actually reliable use on the crucible knight. So something else, something faster, is going to be my option. That said, if I got a fire weapon, I don't have any ashes of war that I could use to infuse with fire, so not an option at the moment, really. I could just do an actual repost with fire damage in it, but not like this. Somber stone, cool. Get over here. Get over here. Hello there. And, oh well, alright. Did not expect that. Cool. Hmm. And, nice, and burn. But, never mind. Okay. Hmm. Dodge, and, nice. Dodge. Hmm. Myself in a position to actually get the parry off. Well, dodge. One, two, and, ooh, I did not expect that. Okay, cool. Hmm, okay. And, nice. Burn, burn. Dodge. Thanks. Burn, burn. And here you go. You're going to use your. And roll, and roll. Nice, cool. Dodge, dodge. Burn, burn. Okay. And dodge. Oh, what? Oh, come on. I was not expecting that to finish me off. Okay. Hmm. Yeah. Two catch flames is a better way to deal damage. Hmm. Well, I think you would be better off with some other method, but no, you simply are not. Come on. Oh my goodness. One, two. Oh, okay. There we go. Hmm. Having to get rid of these storm hawks every time so I don't just get nuked by the fire is also something. No, I, oh, well, okay. Hmm, one, two, oh, well, all right. Thanks for laying into me. Great. Okay, cool. Thanks. Heal and dodge. Can I? One, two, ah. Okay, stupid. Okay. think I should be a bit more liberal with my flask usage. Let's not die. Should be okay here. And then, yeah. Going up the elevator should. Once we get to the bottom, we should be able to reactivate it from the other side. Hmm. It's just, I got too greedy with that knight. Big thing is, when it goes for its stomp, you can actually jump that. And it's actually the better way to deal with it. So the question is whether I'd be able to parry other parts of the combo, or just jump that first one and roll the rest. I probably could parry it if I had enough aggression, but we'll see. Hmm. This is definitely, it's a shield for parrying. And these are enemies that you're meant to parry very specifically. Nice, and just go for it. Okay. Oh, well, I messed that up. Cool. One. Hmm. Dodge. Oh, alright. Thanks. Cool. And, well, okay. Uh huh. Some trouble. Okay. For one, I need to use this flask. Okay. No, oh, well, no. Oh, right. Okay. Never mind. Okay. Ah, oh, come on. There we go. One, two. Oh, that damage increase is actually quite meaningful. Okay. Well,. Not if I roll off the cliff and die. Okay. Hmm. Oh. Drop the controller. This wasn't from that far. Thank you. Enjoy your food. Take your time. Yeah. Yeah. There's one way for that to happen. Thanks. Cool. Yeah, that that's the only reason you show up, right? Watch me just get humiliated. Oh my goodness. <sighs> I wish I had a decent ranged weapon that didn't cost FP or ammunition or something like that. Thanks, and well, you did get hit by your own attack, sadly. Thought that might happen, but it did not. 
Thanks. One, two, uh, two. There we go. Cool. So now we try this again. The big thing is remember to use Flask of Wondrous Physic, actually. This will give me a very sizable faith boost. Which, at this point in the game, should still be a meaningful impact on damage. The big thing is honestly just leveling up my casting tools. So it won't be until I get to Altus that I can get Golden Order Seal, which is probably going to be my best option for most of the game. As it scales up of both Intelligence and Faith for very, very good magic adjust. At maximum level, it is the strongest incantation tool in the game. Alright. Cool. And roll. Burn. And just... Harry, why don't you? Dodge. Dodge. Mmm. Right, we need the flask. We need this. Okay. And just... Go for an overhead or something, and one, two, oh, well, never mind. Come on, and, all right, cool. Mm -hmm. Top, all right, nice. One, two, and, okay. Dang. Oh, well, I did not intend it for that to happen. Okay, cool, and, well, okay. I just thought it was going to transform. Hmm. The delayed one is one of the easiest ones to pair, but only if you can get that timing off reliably. Mm. There's a boss. In one of the sort of mid-game dungeons that's kind of a combination of that misbegotten warrior I fought earlier today, and... Well, they call it the Leonine Misbegotten, but... Really, they're misbegotten warriors, no matter what. The one I fought earlier today in Castle Morn, as well as one of those Crucible Knights. And they're a duo fight, and they show up sequentially. It starts with the misbegotten, and after a certain amount of time, the Crucible Knight shows up, which... Oh, goodness. Can I stab again? Yeah. It only took way too much. <laughs> you have to really, f usually find a way to burst down... The Misbegotten before the Crucible Knight shows up and turns it into a two-on-one fight. And doing the Misbegotten was never a huge problem for me when I fought it before in my mage build. As I was able to just fling the rocks at it, keep it relatively staggered from across the arena. But the Crucible Knight was really annoying because it, it blocks all projectiles no matter what angle you hit it from. Which might not sound like it's all that important, especially if you don't use summons, but that Ambush Shard spell I got before... Allows you to spawn in a projectile behind the enemy and have it fly towards you to hit the enemy from behind. Works well on enemies that tend to stay guarded. But the Crucible Knights, when they have their shield up, they block everything, even from behind. Which is as ridiculous as it sounds. And it just means that magic is not usually the kind of thing you can run on them. Oh, well, never mind. Okay, cool. Thanks. Okay. Hmm. And dodge. And one... Nice, and th thanks. Roll, roll, and... Ah, oh, never mind. Okay, cool. Oh, uh, well. He'll punish socks. Dodge. 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 And, mm, okay. It, it's one of those fights that either goes really, really well or really, really badly. It's all about getting those parries off, but I... Thanks, and... Nice. One, two. I, okay, and... There we go. Cool. Just gotta roll in and well okay cool nice and oh well all right thanks okay and just you go for it thanks and burn you nice and can I one two and dodge and okay cool nice dodge dodge and can I, oh come on up all right nice mm. and dodge Dodge, and can I burn you? One, two, three, and... Okay, there we go. Only took forever. Expect the Crucible Horns. And that is physical damage. Mighty Horn and Caster Soldier. Gore foes from a low stance. Bear went to foes before delivering the final attack. Reduce primal vital energies 
Inspect the Primordial Crucible, where all life was once blended together. Alright. So, got that done. Got a fun little incantation for our trouble. And we can just continue progressing through Stormville normally. How exciting. Joy or joy? Yeah. You think? Up ahead, therefore, seek revenge on... Or what? Kind of revenge. Hmm. Parkour's in here, but... Let's see what happens. I don't think I'm going to need to just have it on hand. Don't think there are going to be any sort of unpredictable situations where I'm going to have to end up parrying. If I need to parry, I'll be able to... I'll know. Have it ahead of time. Or I can die once and then use it again. I'll put the buckle on for later. It's also a possibility. With stone astrolabe. Oh, yeah. Normally there might be one here, but not this time. Okay. Anything here or... Nothing really, just one of those little peaks. And this is anything. Well, we can use this to go back up, but I wonder what would be up top. Nothing down there. If fell down there, it would be certain death. Alright then. Just check. That's that night, and it's just got us around to where we were before, but it's not as if we really needed that, did we? Not really. Just go back, continue progressing things. Mm -hmm. That drop down from before is the question. I just want to see. Pinpoint it on the map to see where I might need to drop down and get to that one spot. Mm -hmm. Go for the back stab on you. Thank you. Oh, Hajimemash Senshi! Daniel Lady Bugku. We are playing Elden Ring right now. Beat Castle Morn earlier now, I'm just in Stormvale. How are you doing? Thank you for following. Hmm. Let's check. Get back down here. I would like to check. There was a drop down. I saw before that I couldn't really avail myself of or make use of that. It seemed I had to drop down from a ceiling somewhere, but I just couldn't manage, is the thing. Down here by that rafter. That rafter over there, and oh, I did not mean to do that. But we can make it. We can make this happen. Just have to drop down through here and come up that ladder again. Yeah, there was a, an interesting drop down that I can't not quite sure how I'm supposed to get there. Said, I doubt there will be any kind of item or anything to actually reward me for going there, but even still, I need to stop doing that. Need to remember that there's a jump there. I may be stupid. Yeah, what's the definition of insanity again? Trying the same thing again and again, expecting the same result? Probably. And that same thing is falling. Yeah. Let's just... Go over this way. Take those commoners out. Sorry. And dodge out of the way of that. Fire pot. Thank you. Before any of that happens, we'll just do down. Oh, there was a there was an item over there, so that means there will be something to getting over there. Can I actually just No, I can just jump that. Never mind. Thought I wouldn't be able to. I should have tried. So now we're on this upper level and Soon we will be able to get... Oh, I did not expect that to happen. Okay, and die. Cool. Yeah, so whatever that item is over there, we can just get it this way. And just go for impaling thrust. You know, it's... The, the, the kinds of jumps you can make in this game. It's, all, it's always a bit easier to make the jump than you might expect. Oh, the brick hammer, and that's... It's a great hammer, but... Here we stone brick, labor who had a rebellion, labor became a champion himself, which is its size, especially the weighty strength of a giant required to wield it. Which would be a bit better than the large coal I've currently got. I might like to upgrade to that. We'll see. Big thing is, I won't really be using it until I run into another enemy that's specifically weak to strike. Hmm. It's an interesting thought. I'll just check what my stats are at right now. Now. Okay. 
So four more levels, and I'd be able to get strength to 18. If I'm leveling everything up evenly. And then, in conjunction with Radagon, Scar Seal, I would be able to actually wield Brick Hammer without having to two-hand it. Which would be quite nice. Let's see what happens. I want to see. Either way, now that we've got... Actually, if I'm not going to be fighting anything of a special note, I should be... Get another one of those so that I can actually just use Demi Human Staff on the Stormhawks. Hello! Welcome, how are you doing? Big Elden Ring from Soft Souls like person? I would consider myself to be. I actually marathoned every sort of mainline Souls, well, also including Bloodborne and Sekiro, and also Demon Souls, but I guess it would count that in anticipation of the Elden Ring DLC dropping. So I've been having some fun. Either way, it's nice of you to join the party. Oh, I... I have not. I will... think about it. Maybe. Thank you. Okay. Alright. Let's just... keep on moving. How do we... Get up here. I wonder if that would be possible. Oh, well. Okay. Great. And it didn't even get hit. That was something. I... Okay. Well. For one... I should put Flame of Frenzy back on in place of Catch Flame. That would be good. Hmm... Beyond that, it's, yeah, we have to cast some pebbles at the funny birds coming my way. And, oh my goodness, you've got to be kidding me. Die. Thank you very much. Let's keep on moving. We can hit you from here. We can Yeah, we can make that work. Just make sure we don't get hit by all of the barrels. Have mercy. And, okay. Well, alright. Thanks, thanks. My blood stain back. All my rune stain or whatever, and some water. Oh, nice water. That's cool. But up there is the question. Could I get up there by any means or what? And just let that happen. Not even gonna get hit sadly, but whatever. One, two, there we are. Fly pinion, and what is this? Smithing stone. Hmm. I just see where am I don't have any three or four smithing somber stones yet hmm. it's a real struggle mm -hmm. I would be able to get Zeracord from here and that will be a very good weapon for a lot of the playthrough just as a kind of a crit stick, crit stick so to speak but get down over there though that's the other question definitely can't drop to it from here that would kill me but what it it might be worth a try oh let's just see yeah that's death okay getting over there though not sure how i'd do it down even farther of course is the ulcerated tree spirit but hmm It's also quite cool how they have multiple mini bosses in Stormbelt proper. One of them a secret. Well, because Morgot is. I mean, Margit is right outside, but. Okay, that won't reach. Whatever. There's an ulcerated tree spirit down inside, actually a bit weaker than the one I fought in the Hero's Grave, which is funny. Dodge, and can I. One, two, and never mind. Okay, nice. And, okay, fine. Hmm. Guess that is kind of the way they want you to use magic like that, and that not as. Never really, because anything is specifically weak to it, but if you specifically need 
sort of free projectiles without having to use FP or something like that. Think carefully ahead. The Regier would be passed here too. Is that to get down? You can drop down, or you can find another way in. Hmm. Ladder goes down there too. Some other knights are, but aha, uh -huh, there's some stuff in there. That's fun. Mm -hmm. Got kukri. This one is open, which means we can talk to Sorcerer Regier. Hello. Ah, nice to meet you. One of the possible Pleasure summons from Margaret. Roger, is the name. Roger Sorcerer, you're in the castle from the troops. Castle, Tartus Hunter, Sacred Sacred for Grafting, Purpose in Mind. Godric, ends up on a grey rune, Guidance of Grace, enjoy while you can, Tarnish like you, Hide our hair for the longest time, Just came here to lines between, Magical Battle Arts, Curdle Learn, sure. Got if it please. Stone Pavel, Poison Source of the same name, Strength Act to Chain to a Lodging Thrust, Swords and Poems Capable of Thrusting, not Colossal, Stone Beauty of Gwentstone. Hmm. Green greatsword, magical greatsword, swing it down. Increase its power. Hmm. Defense of skill. Carrying princesses left in midair. Poems and staves. Suffer successive attacks. Hmm. Okay. Let's buy those for fun. Not that I really need them, but. Okay. For another, well, we got them all ready. Let's talk. Woodstone family. Why would Kari north of the castle? This country in the Golden Order, or so I'm told. Fascinating. Enough to absorb practice contradict itself in the past. To exceed the need of repair, flexibility is needed. Ability more important now than ever. Some skills and. Alright, cool. Anything else? The big thing is. We'll be able to. Talk to him. Later, I think. We'll go back to Round Table Hold eventually, but the big thing is go over and find some stuff for him. That being the. Oh, the corpse of a god underneath here that he's looking for. If not the corpse of a god, then some sort of remnant of one. And. Hey, there's not a grace here. Interesting. Hello then. Hi. Oh, but. Should still try to get a backstab on the Banished Knight, so let's keep our distance real briefly. Mm -hmm. Hi behind that. Okay. Has in fact turned around, which is good, and we can do a sort of sneak run. Alright then, nice, and stab you, and just can we rest that guy? Cool. Nice. Standard sword. Two. Use your art. And the shield bash would go for a... Well, that worked, but... Hmm. Not quite what I was intending, but... Still works very, very well. Vanish that shield. It's medium sized shield. Force to start new with only despair for company. Already read that. Oh, and... Oh, hello. How'd you been much since she Daddy Issues 3456? Interesting name you have there. Thank you for the follow. How are you doing? Playing Elden Ring. I don't think I can reach that. We are not in Castle Morn, we are in Stormvale Castle, the first big real dungeon in the game. Glad to have you here. Just gonna keep on looking in. Okay, the Grappid Scion should be passed here. Fought a couple of those already. This is weaker than the duo we fought in Hero's Grave Dungeon, so we're chilling. Hmm. Let's keep on looking. A bug. This should be another Exile Soldier, which means we can just poke him down and... Okay. It seems that the Great Axe ones are actually a bit more durable. It's certainly feasible, so... Hmm. A bug. Big question is... If I want to chug that blue flask right now to get a bit more stuff back, or what? I'll see. Down here in this disgusting... Th oh, there's a troll corpse. All these limbs is... Those are the remains of the grafted, essentially. 
people who were sacrificed in order to make Godric, the lord of this castle, stronger. They were literally torn apart and... Oh, well, I did not expect that. That was not good. And can I backstab you? Well, alright. Get a backstab off. Uh, so the question is, can I... One more stab, and can I... Okay, you're gonna use your storm wind, so... You just stay out of the way of that. Six total hits. Okay, so now you're dead. We can get this thing. It's going to be, I believe, the Mimic... Yeah, the Mimic Veil. It's a tool to use. Reusable, Golden Veil of the Intricate Design, FP of Mimic Nearby Objects, kind of like Chameleon from Dark Souls, and from Wayndale, the Royal Capital. Multitude of treasures he took with him, also known as Merica's Mischief. And presumably he used it to disguise himself as a woman, because it was stated that he escaped the capital during the sort of civil war of the setting by disguising himself as a woman. And I- okay, well- oh, okay, I did not expect that, but I can break that shield down. Well, not break it down, but prevent it from being used for a bit, and this is not open from this side. Here an ambulance. I hope someone- I hope whoever's in there is relatively okay. Bolt and so we gotta go around to the other side, I think. Should be a little bit more. There's an item here, and I'm wondering what it is, but... One of those guys, so let's go up and get a sneaky backstab for an insta-kill instead of having to spend FP or maybe take some damage in the fight. Good fast, and it didn't go off the ledge, which is pleasantly surprising. Gold Pickled Foulfoot for more rune drop. That's pretty good. Hmm. This would just let me back inside. Okay. Let me just see you then. Hmm. Just trying to think. Got another way in, but that drop is probably survivable, but I think that would do is put me by the main gate, which I've already opened back up. Oh, there was a... It's a good thing I checked. This rope ladder is actually pretty hard to spot. So in that case, I will simply... This would go down over there. Oh, I think that would let me drop down and open that door from the other side. Maybe. So over there, this is... Nothing of serious note, so yeah, it's probably about that. Could drop down here, but again, that would just get me back to the main gate, which again, I've already more or less checked out, so go down here. We can stab you. One, two. Sorry. Not really. And yep, now we can open this. Exciting. Second. Do something real quick, and I... Oh, wait, what? Never mind. Okay, in just a second. Okay. Just had to get rid of a couple of messages that might have been a bit incessant. So let me simply continue on my merry way. Smithing stone and got this. So what did we find through here? A couple of exile soldiers who I want to take down before they, well, they did take notice of me, but they were only a crossbow mint, so not all that threatening. The old turtleneck, that isn't much, and this is it's another stone sword key, which we have a surplus now, which is far better than not having enough, but still. Big thing is, the grafted scion down there, that is an unfortunate being who has been subject to grafting, or basically the attachment of body parts that are not theirs to their body. Back at medium load now, so actually, let's just heal real quick. This thing is very, very good for jump attacks. Actually, I might like... No, the stats are probably still going to be better than Claw right now, so... In that case, actually, let's put a bit of magic on this thing. Buff up my sword a little and try to... Jump down for a big hit. Hmm. It's got to get to somewhere where I can hit it, is the thing. Can I? Jump it. Slam! And there we go, nice. I... Oh, well, alright. Can we slam again? They don't have a lot of... Poise is a thing, so we can jump up and- oh, well, never mind, and can I slam down it? Okay, well, never m mind, and another hit, and- oh, dang it. I overextended myself, and that is for certain. Mm -hmm. and the big thing is that Bloodhound Finesse would actually be pretty good there. I should have just used it. Hmm. Is using Bloodhound's finesse 
It's the skill and the weapon, and it would have allowed me to do a good hit with good damage and get stagger. So the main thing is staggering the enemy. Which would open it up for a critical attack for very big damage. But I... Oh, okay, alright. And... Interesting, interesting. Funky, I... Okay. And, alright. Well, if you're nowhere near the ground, I can't exactly do that now, can I? Mm hmm. Projectiles are nice, but they're not fast enough to really reliably come out. Okay, well... Took a bit more damage there than I might have liked, but... Should still be okay. And the big thing is going to be... Trying to get an initial drop on... That grafted sign, and it's weak to slashing, which is the kind of damage that the yeah, blood that the Bloodhound Fang Greatsword does. It's also just very, very strong with jumping attacks. So I was focusing on that as the method of combat. But question is And no damage there, that's good. Find a way to sneak around and getting that bandage knight with a backstab is going to be very useful. Especially since they are weak to, weak to piercing damage. Generally, armored or scaled enemies are weak to piercing damage in this game. In earlier Souls games, piercing was for scales, which were not all that common. Especially since most scaled things you'd really want to worry about fighting were dragons, which you could just use lightning on. But in Elden Ring, among other things, dragons are no longer weak to lightning, they use lightning. Which means that, uh, among other things, piercing has got an armor and scales now, because this game has a lot of sort of golem-type enemies, which means that... Thanks. Hmm, what are you gonna do? Right, and... Okay, come on, come on, and... Okay. Hmm, alright, and just out of the way. Thanks, and just stab you, kill you. Still took a bit more than I might have liked. Switch back to Bloodhound's Fang, and yeah. Hmm, this should be good. We'll see, though. Who can I spot and from where? There is gonna be one more... Banished Knight. Oh, but did I get that guy? I did not get that guy already. Oh, actually, I did. It's just he's through there. But he went through there. Yeah. So I can go around this way through this shortcut. No, this is not quite the right direction. Never mind. Okay. So, right, I need to re-equip the Epe. Backstab and kill that Banished Knight. Jump attack on the Grafted Zion. Take that out. Get some other items. Find another Grace. Yeah, we'll be good. Hello there. Gotta wait for you to circle back around so we can stab you from behind. You know... You'd think he'd be able to see the oversized sword peeking past the doorway. Oh, well, I... Alright, thanks. And, well, we can just do that. That works, too. I think that would stun you out of your weapon art, but... You know, if it works, it works. Three, four, five, six, and... Impale. Thank you. Cool. Switch back to the... Fang. And continue on our merry way. Oh, they're fun. And slam. Slam. There we go. Cool. We do have you. Piercing is better on actual armored enemies, but it's still good. So gauntlets and a mushroom. It's a bit of a wind-up to get working, but it's very, very useful. Especially when you can just sort of sneaky jump attack like that. So then what we want to do is get that on you and slam. Kill. Okay. Use Scholar's Armament. Then we need that. Well, actually, we don't. We have enough for one use, but I don't want to have to do a good combat heal there, so. Slam and, alright. Cool. Nice. And just run in. Bloodhound and. Okay, alright. Thanks. Hmm. Two, three, four. Jump and. Bloodhound. Bloodhound and. Rush back in and slam down again and. Can I. Hmm. -hmm. Can I... Nice, too. And can I... Slam down again. Dodge, dodge, dodge. Dodge. Okay, cool. Need that. And oh, a commoner. That is just great news. Can I... Slam down again. And, okay, there we go. Take out the Zion. Fun. 
And it actually dropped more runes than the ones with more health in the hero's grenade. Funny. This is the Highland Axe. Wars of the Highlands. Battle by crying out their names. Wars are enhanced by this weapon. Hmm. That's fun. Got this back. <clears throat> and a couple of commoners. You may as well just use that until the buff runs out. Simple, yeah. Okay. We have... Exalted Flash. Didn't quite need that, though. I honestly should make use of that. I've got Arterio Ease that otherwise have no reason to exist. <laughs> Meat that has no reason otherwise to exist. Bones that otherwise have no reason to exist. The list really does just go on and on now. Here we've got... Ah, here are the dogs, so... Get an item after this gross heap of corpses. I... Hmm. What if I just use... Yeah, should be okay. But actually, these dogs are surprisingly... Surprisingly strong, is the thing. Just one of them now. Hi, hello. And... Ooh, alright. Come on. I guess they're just very resistant to non-physical damage types, which is kind of silly, actually. This magic is nowhere near as good in this game. Lump of Flesh, Chrysalid's Memento, Brooch wrapped in red velvet, but it's spelled differently. B-R-O-A-C-H versus B-R-O-O-C-H, depending on the small versus long description. Trace of Water Visible, Snackerlets for grafting, Brooch wrapped in red velvet, the invisible spirits try to convey something. Voices cannot be heard, but Roderica, I believe, could hear their spirits. So, oh, and this is just right the way back up to that side of Grace. So there's our shortcut. Fun. Hmm. Question is whether I'd like to keep going in the moment, but frankly, I wouldn't. Rest again and. Hmm. If I manage, I can definitely beat that ulcerated tree spirit. I bet Flame of Frenzy would actually be really good on it. Mm -mm. Big enough to take a big amount of stance damage. Mm -mm. Which might be some commoners through here, but I can't imagine there would be all that many. This is... Oh, and there it is! This this would be our way to get the Misericord. Gesturing required ahead. Somber smithing stone, nice. Open this up with a stone sword key, but we only need one, because one is already in there. Two imps, but one is already filled. Killed both imps. Hmm. Lost with use, and... Yeah, there's some guys over here, so... Cool, nice. And, alright. Let's go over. Impale. There we go. Iron Wet Blade, that's good. Choice of affinity upgrade, suffering grave, what's your knife? Affinity of heavy, keen, or quality can be chosen. Hmm. Your rats above me. Hot crest wooden shield. Light for its size, easy to handle, long forgotten crest of Stormvale, ancient design, the hawk crest. The old king of Stormvale would be the hawks. Zeracord, military physicians in white, hard and sharp critical hits, especially potent. 140, the highest critical modifier in the whole game. Since mercy, mercy upon the battlefield is ruthless. Killer's clothe is men of compassion. Crafty and fleet of foot. Set maneuver, circling around a lock on targets. We, oh, right, right, that guy over there. Come on, get in here. Get in here. Thanks. Enjoy death. Get down there and get to the other side as well, is the question. Poor him. He's dead. Oh, but there was, right, there is another spot where I need to use a stone sword key to get some certain useful incantations. Those being Black Flame. Hmm. Let's move on through here and get over and up this way is the question. Well, we can just, yeah, we can just go up this ledge and take out the commoner who would otherwise be tossing firebombs at us. Hello there, friend. Not really a friend. So that over there, that's the question. What is this? 
Hello then, this is Arrows. Behold a romp. I will not behold the romp, thank you very much. Try running and then I'm gonna have to can't take this. If you just run around this way, you'll be okay. Here we are, we can get in and go past some rats and find another stone sword key door in order to get. Oh, interesting, but might like. Honestly, Flame of Frenzy would be good here. Yeah, we'll just Frenzy Flame these rats. And cool, and oh, well, alright then. Fun. Oh, well, uh, but don't have the poise for it, is the thing. Run away and just burn, burn. Hmm. Surprising me, just amount of. Oh, but someone is shooting me. That's annoying. Welcome back, how are you doing? What you eat? How's the food? Oh, but there's someone behind me. Okay, whatever. Die, die. Gonna get a book of other incantations here, which is gonna be nice. A couple. How are you doing? Let us simply continue on our way in all these. All this rotten meat. Decadence of the castle. Fireproof dried liver in a red medicinal solution. Fire damage negation. Arrows, small one. Those are remarkable in any way, shape, or form. Oh, I didn't have any of those arrows already. Okay, and we need to use one stone sword key. Sometimes we need to use multiple. Bust with use, and then we can... This will be the God Slayer Seal and the God Skin Prayer Book. God Slayer Seal, that's... Nice, but we can't use it yet, and won't be able to for some time as well. Sacred Seal of the God Skin Apostles, inlaid with obsidian. Better than diamond. Manipulation of Black Flame, Catalyst enhances God Slayer incantations. Which, Black Fire does not deal dark damage, like in Dark Souls, because there's no... Dark damage, just more stuff in the castle. I beat a Crucible Knight. The Crucible Knight you saw me fight, I beat. Inventory and... Ground and Supple Skin. God Slaying Black Flame, written within. Access to the following incantations, Black Flame and Black Flame Blade. Alright. This is how... You can sometimes get to the main gate. Nothing down here, though, so... Did all that already. Actually, I should mark this as a place I need to go so I don't forget. I got over on that side, but there's no point going to the Divine Tower so long as I haven't actually killed Godric and obtained his great rune, and therefore gained the ability to gain kind admittance to the Divine Tower, and therefore activate the Great Rune. Black Flame will be cool. Not quite yet, because I'm pretty sure... So I think I could just barely use it with the faith I have, using a charm to boost my faith, but even... S Actually, if I was really... It might be worth having the God Slayer. It really is. It... It's fantastic without being silly. That's what I would describe it as. It's very clearly not a real-world map, but that's not necessarily a bad thing. It makes it work. Two, three, any of the strength there. Fire arrow, and I... Oh, but I... I don't need... No, no, Radagons is good right now. Right, right. Stab, stab. Pushes what omens are weak to. Presumably... Presumably... Slashing damage because they don't have any real armor. And these funny fire turrets, I have no way of using. Let's just destroy one for fun. Yeah, there we go. Not that that actually made a huge difference. Or really any difference at all. Go through, keep taking these exile soldiers down so we can get around the side without trouble. And thank you, just impale before you stick out your pole. That charge is very, very useful. Going for a couple more stabs, and... Oh, oh. Magic Grease. Golden Rune. Golden Rune, and it'd be funny if touching that did some damage to me, because it's still smoldering. Especially length of the handle, we use from long distances, but it's not a great suit, just a spear longest reach of any melee weapon. It's on horseback, hard to wield in cramped spaces. You can just, yep, do that again. I thought I wasn't going to hit because of the angle I was initially going at, but the ability to correct my angle is better than I expected. Smoldering butterfly, because this area is pretty burned. 
Kill this guy, and... Oh, I don't think you can actually get a backstab off of them while they're manning one of the turrets. Golden Rune, and this is where we've been before. So there were a couple of items, but that's really all I need to pay attention to. The bosses over there would shoot me if I went much farther, so I'm just not going to do that. Okay, cool. Thank you! Backstab on you for the insta-kill. Gone, fun. Oh, well, alright. It's a bit much. A little excessive. We've already been through here except for that stuff, so... Fun and dodge. Oh, well, never mind. We still have got the durability to trade without worrying. Eventually, again, I'm still gonna want to get rid of... I'm gonna want to stop using this eventually, because it increases the damage I take. For now, though, my stats are low enough at getting three more in my physical offensive stats is still a meaningful increase. And the enemy is, I suppose, weak enough that taking 10% more damage is also not much of an issue. Hmm. That omen over there, that statue that's slightly glowing is something I'm going to need to get him to break for us. One of his big heavy attacks. It's the only way we can get, what, get what's inside, which should only be a smithing stone, but even still. Wooden Great Shield, and that doesn't even have full damage negation. Physical negation, metal ornamentation, high damage negation, guard capacity, making enemy attacks easier to repel. But we're not really using shields, is the thing. So we're actually quite close to the end here. I think that finding that omen would be good use for the Bloodhound's Fang, so... Let's put on Scholar's Armament. Need a bit more of that, so put that on. Maybe I'll use this. I'll get to another gray soon, so we may as well boost my strength a little. Oh, they're- oh, but- dogs! Okay, cool. Dodge, and- hmm, get over here. Go for a big hit, and crush this, and- all right, and- can I- overhead swing, and- hmm, just need to get you to- huh. Big guillotine-like slices. Oh, I... Mmm, but how can I get you to do that reliably is the thing, and... Thanks, I... Come on. Uh, two and... What? Okay. Mmm, I should have gone to the grace behind that instead of... Trying to get that done. Tough. Hmm, hmm, hmm. Luckily, I do have a shortcut down, but even still, I'm going to fight past a few of those guys, and that will not be all that fun. The other thing is that I might be able to progress a bit of Rajir, a sorcerer guy I found in here, is questline early, by... Fighting a mini-boss in this area and telling him about it, even before I beat Stormvale. So after you beat the boss of the area, the real boss of the area, you get a sorcery, well more specifically a sorcery-related weapon skill vendor to move to Round Table Hold in the hub area. But as of right now, let's just run past them. And then he tells you to go back and look for something in Stormvale, but we just find that now. We don't have to wait. Nothing forces me to wait. This is- oh, a painting in here. Plunky. This is Prophecy. Ah, okay. I actually did see that. Wandering artist, Death's Embrace, Vestiges of the Dead's Last Moment, Soul of the Painter, location depicted even now. And that is... it's not glowing anymore. A Colosseum up there, so presumably that would be somewhere a bit... somewhere in Lyrinia, I would presume? If it's looking at Lane Del Colosseum. It might actually be from the Chapel of Anticipation. That would not surprise me. And I... Mm, but I got... No, I did get my runes back. Never mind. One, two, three, but I... Oh, alright, and... Oh, well... Okay, I did not expect that omen to be able to follow me in here. Okay. Hmm. 
Omen. Oh man. I didn't say that. <laughs> gonna keep on going. We're gonna try that again. Just gonna just run past, activate the side of grace, and not get hit from behind by the omen. Try my best. I am trying my best. <laughs> so that over there is a painting of Godfrey, first Elven Lord, with his beast beast regent Sarosh on his back, which you might recognize that big white lion from the intro cutscene. Not to say too much, not to spoil too many things. Then we'll over here and. <laughs> run around and get my rune stain back avoid too much stupidity already kill these guys we can just run past them now without guilt the rune stain should be in here so i mm -hmm. omen sees me i don't like that there is a big ol side of grace on the other side but getting him to break that thing is going to be another order of business full calling finger remedy and there we go, Grace. Amazing Grace. How sweet the sight. And, okay, well, alright, just one, two, three, and can I rest? No, I can't. I can't rest here. I can't do that. Fun. Dodge. How much damage are you going to take from? Dodge. And dodge. One, two, dodge. Oh, can I? Mmm. Actually, this is quite good on them. I... Thanks, and can I... Slam... Okay, actually, the stagger is the crazy thing. In fact, I can actually why we stagger. So the nice thing is that... Oh, and we got its cleaver, too. Nice. Loving Arcane probably helps a little, but it wouldn't be helping all that much. Heavy blood curved sword of colossal side. Size of order to omen is a 12 war. Made to take advantage of brute strength. Remnant of a deteriorate of malediction occurs. Bestowing a weapon, preparations must be made for taking it away. And this is just... It's not as good as my Bloodhound's Fang. It's just not. It's not that it's just being leveled, which is not being leveled, but it's also just not as good. It's a bit close to the Murakumo, actually. The Dismounter is a bit similar in that regard, as in there's a weapon called the Murakumo. For oh, and it... Oh, it does a slam. Oh, that's new. Did not expect that. For some of this then that does not do the slam so i guess this is maybe a bit more like the murakumo but it's this mounter that i got from one of the kaiden cell sword horseback guys from before and oh it does move this does move right now okay question is how could i get over here that does not open from the side either maybe dropping down but um, Big thing is, they're dogs. This is the way I want to drop down, actually, to get to the... Getting over there. When I went through Stormvale originally, I couldn't figure out how to get through that way. Hmm. Maybe if I actually... Oh, if I jump over that side. For any of that garbage, I actually want to... Find a way to get the omen to smash that thing open. Oh, but I, haven't... I need to rest to make it respawn. That's right. So right now I'm... Wait, do I need to? Let's see. Yeah, yeah. That should bring him back. That'll mean if I'm lucky, I can use his big swing slam to beat out that statue and show what's inside. One, two, three. The dog not getting killed by that is still just insane to me. We'll worry over here and find some way to, maybe using a great shield even, get your attacks to see over here and can I, alright, thanks, and oh, well, I did not expect that lunge, didn't think you could do that, okay, cool, well, alright, that's just, the only thing that will actually break this is, can I, thanks, wait, what, huh, okay, is it the two-handed slam, or how do I dodge and can I- okay. Thanks. Thanks. Uh, 
No, seriously. What attack has to be used to break this? It's... The Omen Cleaver has that two-headed slam. I... Uh, j thanks and... Thanks. Just do something, will you? Dodge and... Mm, supposed to have a two-handed slam that you can use to break this. This is the only heavy guy in the area. But I... Thanks? I guess? What in the... Okay? I'm kind of confused. Oh no, it's not the omen. There's a giant troll that I need to lure over here. That's right. Completely forgot. Okay. So I'm going to stop barking up the wrong tree. Yeah, because they were just not big enough to break it. There's a door over there, and... Down at the very bottom of this area is the ulcerated tree spirit. For the area. Get another golden seed, which among other things will mean... My seventh flask use. Just drop down here, we won't die. So if we can... Can we jump there? Can we jump that? I don't think we can. So how am I going to get up there? You know what? We can we can try. We can try this jump. And no, you can make that jump. I Whenever I see something that looks kind of jumpable, I need to at least try it. I never would have known if I hadn't just gone for it. And, oh well that's cool. One die. Okay. Oh and never mind, okay. Funky. Hmm. He through the wall. Oh, but that up there. How am I going to get up there? Well, I... Hmm. That is strange. Is that... That... Huh. Got over this way, but... How am I going to get to that? This is actually pretty confusing. Big thing is, there's an ulcerated tree spirit down there, real weak to fire. So I'll just kill it with fire. Probably. Maybe. Maybe... Uh, using a Holy Resistance Talisman would probably be overkill for this. Wouldn't think I need it, but we'll see. I can hear a scarab somewhere. Let's see. Let's see rats. Hi, rat. And slam down, kill that rat. There's a big rat coming too, so... Nice. Decent adjustment there. And we need to wait for the big rat to show up. And can we sneak up on the... We cannot sneak up on the big rat. That's sad. Well, you know, that's life. Okay. The good thing is that we can reliably stagger it with our jumping heavies, which prevent most retaliation. So I hear a scarab somewhere. What is that going to be then? Poison bloom and... Let's see. Go around before it... Oh my goodness, that's bad news. One, two, three, and what's that? Oh no, it was a spell one, a rancor call, which... Oh, that, and we can use that too. It's a faith requirement, that that is no problem for us. So if I need... Magic damage, Serpents of Death, Shortening Hints of Potency, Thought Loss, Ancient Death Hex was rediscovered by the Necromancer Garrus. Uh, I might want to see what it was described as, what word they use in the Japanese. But hexes, as some of you might recall, were a special, their own spell type. And Dark Souls 2, specifically the dark magic type, which were kind of in between Sorcerers and Miracles in that they never had their own casting tools, like... Sorcery's Miracles, or I suppose in this case Pyromancies, is another sort of non-sorcery, non-miracle category did. Well, in Elden Ring, miracles are instead incantations, but... Ray of Danger? Okay. Essentially, hexes would use either sorceries or... Sorcery Staves, or Catalyst Chimes, to cast. Depending. Hmm. I think, actually, if we can get... Stance break somehow. The Great F8 would actually be better because of the crit mod. It's possible. Big thing is we need Flame of Frenzy here. There we go. Cool. So my resistance is a little, and now we can run in. The Tree Spirit should show up here now, and... There we go. 
Rush him down over that way. And cool. Nice. All right. And... Mmm. Okay. Oh, wow. All right. Fun. I... It's an idea. Just... Dodge and... Take that out. Burn. Cool. Dodge and burn. Thanks. Eventually we'll be able to get a stance break in theory, so... Let's do that and then we can... Oh, never mind. Okay, cool. Fun. Alright, and just... What can I... Dodge and... Okay, cool. Thanks. Burn. And just... We're close. Close to being able to... Stance break, maybe. I'm not sure. Okay. Thanks. Dodge and... Cool. Take that, and did we get a stance break? We did not get a stance break. Now we're doing that. Now that's happening, so let's just burn again and see what we can... Mmm, the stance damage is a problem, too. Okay, cool. I nice seal and... Okay, well, we can... Nice. Dodge that holy fire. And, oh, come on. You've gotta be kidding me. Okay, heal and... Chug that. Thanks. And, what? Never mind. Okay, cool. Thanks. Thanks. And take. Mm -mm. Dodge. Okay, nice. Thanks. Mm, I... Dodge. Okay, cool. And just take that. And burn, burn, burn. And dodge. Oh, never mind. You. Okay, cool. Thanks. Cool. And just burn. Well, I... Oh, I thought I'd be able to whip that. The annoying thing is just... It trapped me against a wall. Hmm. So I couldn't get away from that explosion. Oh, alright. I know what I need to do. Hmm. Which, honestly, as fun as it is to actually use magic, I might have honestly been better off trying to use just the Bloodhound Swing. It, honestly, though some fire grease on it and then go for stance breaks it flame of frenzy is fun and works wonders on big enemies but the pure damage is not what i would have wanted we'll see by the way this shouldn't be a huge problem but i would not imagine that this area will be all that much trouble okay and then we have another Fight against the big rat and die, die, die. Yeah. Cool. It's like getting water from a. Blood from a rat. It's about to say water from a rat. I'm trying to make a water from a stone joke, but. Messed up. Classic. Okay. Use that fire grease on this thing. That should be very useful. Fire grease in conjunction. Should get some good stance breaks off. Hello there. Hello. Oh, oh, wow. That hit me. That did damage. Okay, cool. And I did not expect that. Okay, cool. Nice. And, oh, well, I... That was the stupid thing, is that I had the buckler out. I didn't think I would have it out. Okay. I think it automatically put it back out when I put the fire grease on, maybe? I don't even really know how I messed up there. Well, whatever. No, that would actually be my eighth flask. Mm hmm. Wait, would I have taken less damage if I jumped instead of. Yeah, maybe. If I jumped instead of fallen, I think. I think I take no damage if I jump, but I do take full damage if I just drop down. It's interesting. Thanks. Thank you, and. Alright. Fun. And can we slam down and... Mm, no hits. No hits. Slam and... Alright, there we go. Cool. Let's try this one more time. Thank you. One, two, three. And the nice thing is that that Necromancer Garrus guy will actually be able to encounter and, of course, kill him later on in the game. Mm -hmm. It's always violence. You always end up resorting to violence. Okay, is that fire grease again, and should be good, and yeah, it, no, we're still two-handing it. Big thing is we need to make sure that we don't get hit. You would want that. It's very goblin, huh? Oh, well, oh, no, that did hit. That's good. 
Nice, and just... Dodge. Oh, well, I... Uh, can't believe that caught me. Whatever. I... Okay. And just... Dodge. And, okay. Mm -hmm. Dodge. Can we slam down? And how do it want to... Okay, well, all right. And roll. Keep on rolling. Yo, yo. Just want to get a... Mm -hmm. Big hit in on them. And one... Oh, well, what? Huh? I, all right. Thanks. And, oh, come on. That was trouble. Uh, Set out of the way of it. Nice. We can just... Okay. Slam. And we're almost at a stance break, I think. So I can... Stance. There we go. Cool. And the fire's gone, but we should still be able to deal a good amount of damage. So... One. Two. Good stuff. It's a seal. It's gonna holy up. Go for another explosion, I think. So I can... Oh, or not. Maybe. It. There we go. It certainly took its time there. Okay, so let's just... For a few more hits on you. And one. Uh, just, oh, well, never mind. This is something for sure. And uh, just... Dodge. Mm -hmm. Nice. Cool. One. And kill. There we go. Nice. Let's just take that thing. Cool. Snap. Oh, uh, well, we didn't have the time for that. Probably. Golden Seed, Throwing Dagger. Yeah, it, like I said, it was originally a boss enemy from, an extra boss from Dark Souls 3. The intro boss, its passive man form, was originally going to be its own boss later on. There's Stone Sword Key, cool. But that simply did not end up happening. Always weak foe. Well, I don't know. Death ahead. This big thing is part of the corpse, or sort of the consequence of the death of Godwin, or the demigods, Prince of Death's Pustle. This is Vitality, which fetid Pustle from facial flesh, and you can see some facial features upside down. You can see an upside down nose and some eyes underneath it. A little bit of mouth. This is the Prince of Death. He used to be called Godwin, first dead of the demigods. Yep. Killed by the Black Knives, deep under the capital of the Urchers' roots. Hmm. All right, then. Just be a blood loss. Praise the head. Maybe. Maybe not. Should actually be. Special. Yep. Regier over here. Ooh. Okay. That was something. So what was that about with Regier? Oh, alright then. I'd tell him that we saw him dying, I suppose. Let's go up, see what that leads us to. Maybe around the side of where we were before. Maybe. Yeah, that was interesting. Killed that thing, got another seed. Uh, hmm. Got another flask. Which I believe they count about at 15. Which I believe they also did in Dark Souls 3. Flask can go up to plus 12 in here too, and I think in... Dark Souls 3 was limited to plus 10. Long ladder climb. I did end up falling down here a little bit before and actually seeing that face early, which is funny. We do have... There's only a little left now, actually. Basically just the actual fight against the actual boss. Hmm. This is... Oh, this just drops down to... Somberstone. So in that case, in the Stone Sword Door, I got the Misericord, which is a very good critical weapon. Hmm. So Regier's over there, but before that, I should actually talk to her broken maiden, whose real name is Roderica. I give her the Crystal as a memento. This is a brooch I got from those sacrifices for grafting. A pile of corpses, and if we went to Lyrinia first, she would just go to Round Table Hold, so. Hello. Message. Craven Heart. Club soon enough. Memento. Keepsake from her guardians. Hmm. Believed in me. Some of myself can't do anything. Round Table Hold. Purpose there, and that's spirit tuning. Alright. So we'll see her there next time, but before that, I think. Go to. Tower again real quick. Try to talk to Regier. See if he has anything to say now that we actually got 
knowledge of what had happened earlier than you normally might. And we can just slice them out of the air. Nice. Thank you, thank you. Cool. Boom. And just, alright, just miss. Okay, cool. And, ah, oh, this is tough. I, I tried using just magic on them. And they're very good at dodging projectiles, is the thing. Okay, and just jump it. You know, if it works, it works. You guys are pretty annoying. Hmm. I'm going to simply continue on my way. Hmm. Oh, oh! The preliminary coloring and cutting of the model upgrade has apparently been finished according to the guy commissioned. So hopefully, yeah, sooner than later. So has he- Oh, he's actually left! He's left the round table hold because we found that. So we can go back to Table of Lost Grace real briefly and talk to Ruderica and to Regier, because Regier should be over there now. Oh, we can also get the Godskin book to Corin. Work of heresy, no lineage from the Erd Tree. Very well. Off your hands. And that, and buy this now. Excuse me. That would take 20, so we could actually use that with Merrick's now. Raging Black Fire. Potency causes it to explode. Weighty. Sap HP for a very short time, so it deals an amount of percentile damage, which makes it very, very good on boss enemies. That's why it's a god slaying. God slaying tool. Flame incantation, god skins, black flame, cast that delay after performing any action. Sap HP, this enchantment lasts basically 10 seconds, so. There's only so much it's useful for. We already bought that, so not much. Hello. Banya, but nothing yet. Okay. And Rajir is not here yet. Rajir is not Raj here. Huh. Maybe it's a number of resets. It's possible. Might be the case. Oh, also we can upgrade our flask to get another use, which would be nice. Classic Prince and Tears, and we can talk to Roderica now, I think. Hello. See you again. Ro no, not Roderica, Roderica. Impressive? Not very expressive. By to become Elden Lord. Two fingers. Fantastic roots. Bit much for me in truth, my own purpose. So it's my face, keep it safe from them. Self pity, fail them every turn, take this, and a. Oh, another golden seed, nice. Cool. Can't use that quite yet. I think. Three on purpose. I think I need three seeds now to get another use. Yep, I would need three. Cool. There are more than enough in the base game to get the maximum number of flasks in a single playthrough, actually. More than enough. Well, okay, if we're dead, all the same, light her arms, and we can talk to her about him about Ruderica, and he'll tell her to become a spirit tuner. Crestolin. Ah, so kind of the Crestolin that equivalent. Your spirit tuning. Long ago, it's neither the same you. Hmm. Recognizing that simply by looking at her, it seems. Hello there. Mr. Shave, on purpose, we can. What I must do, tell her what the blacksmith said. Kind of a gift, don't believe you? Would be my first, try to own it. Here to teach me, timid, no love for us. Trapped here too, so. Well, so underneath it all. If I do have a talent for Be a surprise, try to own it. Okay. If we rest, I think that will send her over by you too. Or not. Might have to reload the place a few times, and he is simply not here right now. Alright. Hmm. I will simply. Leave the place and come back, and it should tell us something, maybe. The big thing is, I want to get the troll to break that rock. Should be fine. Just gotta lure it over here. There's that other door that I need to take note of. Hmm. Curious, curious. So beating that Omen would keep the way clear. I'll do that first, so. Hello, doggy. 
Omen has not been alerted, which is nice. One, two, three. There we go, cool. Let's just kill this guy. One, two, three. Oh, and we got a critical, nice. Well, actually, I think they can be critical, but they can be staggered, I think. Over here, there'll be some more Stormhawks, but beyond that, we can also... Hello there, hello. And can we see out of the way and out of the range of that is... Wait, what? Fire? Okay, well, do that too, I guess. Can I... Oh, what? Oh, come on. I did not see that coming. That... I'm gonna try using Fang on them. Big, strong jump attack. I might have to just use Gwensome Pebbles. Hmm, okay. Alright. Okay, then. Kill this guy first to get the way clear, but... Hmm. It's some trouble for sure. Come on, just dodge and connect. Over and... Well, no. Alright. And, oh, well. It's pretty decent. Thanks. And just... Can we... Slap... Never mind. And... Okay. Hmm. Jump attacks are just too slow, is the thing. Well, at least you're dead now. Yeah, you would think that, if anything, a sort of surface-to-air attack would be very, very good against them. And maybe, in theory, but if I can't actually get it to connect, because it's too slow to actually reliably hit, it doesn't really matter then. Okay. Smithing stone, and another smithing stone, too. They go up to 8, and then the maximum one is an Ancient Dragon Smithing Stone, which are inherently limited. Every single other con can eventually be bought for money. And Wait, what? What was that? Okay. Weird. And I, oh, come on. Alright, thanks. Can I... Ugh, just... Okay, cool. Hmm. Let's try that again. I'm definitely just gonna need to magic them to death. It's fine. And cool. Cool, cool, cool. Yeah, yeah, yeah. They're in the air, you hit them with projectiles. No reason to make a simple process more complicated. It's just... Magic isn't even all that good in this game, at least not sorcery. I don't need to feel guilty about using it. I still wouldn't even if it was good, but especially not since it kind of sucks. There is another golden seed there, nice. This is Nefelia Wu. Your only mistake was your choice of Mister. Mm -hmm. Let the ring lift you to a higher place. All right. Holy crap! It's a deer. Well, who do you have here? It's me. Tarnished, are you? Clearly not one of Broderick's lot. I am Nefelia Wu. Nefelia Wu. Just like you. I'm here by like Lou. Kitty and Offnir, repellent. This is. This grafting of Godric's grafting and the corruption. He's tainted the very winds. The winds. Hmm. If you intend to challenge Godric, I ask you call upon Well, him. no. The winds run foul I don't think we need to summon her to do his quest your request line. The fight. Mm hmm. Apologies. I don't long enough. Our own guidance. Run about in the Lord. Apologies, as fellow town. But in theory, she's not fighting for her own lordship, but so that Gideon Offnir, the guy we saw before, her adoptive father, and quite frankly a scumbag, and becomes Lord. Well, he doesn't end up doing that, though. Even if you quit the game and lose to him, he literally ends up giving up and goes mad. But... Philly <sighs> Wu. And say about Wardship and all. I don't think I need to summon her in order to progress her questline, but... Eventually, she ends up becoming the ruler of this castle, actually. Thing is, there's a troll over here, and we need to let it crush that stuff so we can... Oh, well, all right. I did not expect that. Mm, well, that worked pretty well. Got it. Oh, and the troll is getting that guy down, which is nice. Fun. Hmm, we just gotta... Let that troll come over to break that rock. Hmm. Oh, all right. Just let that happen. Get over here, get over here. 
destroy this thing for us. Oh, but you're- oh, right, we didn't kill the- oh, man, that's right. Cool, well, all right, then. Fun, and can I- mm. Big thing is, it can't get into here, but... Hmm, all right. Thanks, and just- can we- slam down you! Jump, slam, oh, well, never mind, uh, okay. Jump, slam, and never mind, I need a heal, heal. And, oh, please, uh, all right, and thanks, just slam down, and dodge, can I slam again? Okay, thanks, one, we're close, and oh, please, uh, all right, thanks, and oh, goodness, this is dangerous, uh, okay, die, and what? Never mind, uh, okay, kill, okay. Huh, huh. I? Where's that troll gone? Okay, right here. Come on. It... Oh, it broke it already. Smithing stone. Thank you. Cool. Bunch of smithing stone ones. And one smithing stone two. Hmm. So there should be another exile soldier over this way that died, I suppose. Or stay back. Uh, there you are. Okay, cool. Fun. All right. All right, then. Okay, and... Mmm, interesting. Just get a attack on you, if we... Can we... Good. Enough damage, but I... Hmm, just dodge, and... Oh, come on, okay. What I do know is you can get a pretty good stagger with these jump attacks still, so I... Mmm, never mind. I... One, and... Can I... Another, and just, uh, please, oh, come on, you've got to be kidding. Okay, and just out of the way, and cool, nice. Slam down, and one more, I think. Just, can I dodge, and then we slam, and, okay, cool. Dodge, and can I, I don't know if I can actually stance break this guy. It might not be, okay, whatever, whatever. There was a static race just past there, but I didn't want to mm. use it right now. That was certainly something. Big thing is, I'm almost at the end. I do want to kill that troll. Big thing is, we managed to get the item from that statue, which is good. Use our glintstone pebble. We only need few more levels, actually, in order to wield a better Glintstone Staff, have actual usable magic, really. And, okay, come on, come on, die already, wait, what, never, never mind, you, okay, come on, come on, what in the, okay, stupid, stupid, okay, come on, just, die, die. what, 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 no, please, you, what, 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 uh, huh, okay, whatever, I, okay, die. How can I not even... Okay. I am going to pretend like that did not happen. It was really, really annoying. So if I had something like Rock Sling, I could just get them with rocks. That would be really nice, but we don't. And come on, come on. Some physical, actually. Deal some stagger. Big thing is that something like what Hunt's Finesse might actually work really well in the troll. Get out of the way of it and all that. Is she still here? She is no she's still here actually. Okay. Yeah, she has some special axes that we could maybe get eventually. Somehow, some way. Use scholar's armament for a bit of extra damage. And then we can take these guys down. Cool, and just one, two, three, four, and alright. Cool troll, and oh, oh okay, alright, thanks, and just one, two, and jump, and can I, okay, nice, and oh, well, never mind, I did not expect that part, fun, not really, I'll uh, just dodge, and, uh, can I slam, slam again, and, or not, dodge, and, okay, one, mm -mm. jump was good, but not everything, there we are, we got her. Critical. One. Two. Dead troll. Thanks. Warp smoldering butterfly and smithing stone. And we have. 
I think I hear a scarab somewhere, but I can't be quite sure. Yourself are right. Activate this and then go back around from the other elevator path. Hmm. The side of grace, which is the secluded cell. The oh, yep, yeah, the spell buff keeps going, which is nice. Side chamber, the boss is right past there, but before that, I want to. Go up the lift and find a way to open that door. That's my real question. What is beyond there? That is, again, clearly nothing of note. So then, let's continue on our path. Let's go around, then. Hmm. Somebody. But I. Hmm. Interesting. Clearly here. Scarab somewhere. Big thing is there hot people around here too. Oh, hello there, hi. And slam or miss entirely. That was kind of embarrassing. And one, two, three. And that was Ashabor Stormcaller. Spin Armin creates running storm winds, up to two fall up attacks. Quality of Finny and the following skill, but for now we actually want to use the these pots presumably would be very weak to strike damage. I think that is a very safe bet. <laughs> okay. Cool. And... Yeah, that... Kinda sad. There's gonna be a giant pot around here. It should jump a, drop a cracked pot too. And this is basically Alexander. Fun. And... Slam. You're pretty simple. Uh, boys break. Big explosion. And... Should get... Living Jar Shard and Raw Meat Dumplings. And those raw meat dumplings are human meat. Punch out raw meat balls. Second lever should be on the verge of turning. Restores these people poison. And the user not recommended for those who prefer to know the origin of their meats. This is hardened after death. Used for crafting items. High price. Magical power would walk within. Fortunate targets for poachers. Just immaterial. Alright then. That's good. That's good. And. Poor jars. Alright. Well, they would get hostile anyway, so. Two cracked pots, and actually, if you end up picking that as your starting gift, those two cracked pots don't show up. It's basically getting these two cracked pots early. Hmm. Question is, how I would get up top? How I would get up here? If there's any way. Yeah, because that part... It's quite strange. It really is quite strange. Don't know where I jump to get over there and hmm. Not there, right? Hmm. Kukri. Yeah, it's not a ladder. Huh. I am kind of at a loss. What if I anything around here or this is just back to that chamber. Means that it might just be having to fight Godric. Maybe. It's a good chance that it's something related to dropping down from here. I. Hmm. I don't know any other way that I could really get around that path then. Other than that. If such chamber. Maybe the elevator is funky and wonky and you have to have it go up and there's something above it, but I don't think that's the case. Didn't seem that way to me. Get over here it would be. Oh, well, okay. That didn't even kill me. Wow. Okay, alright. Gone, I guess. And, okay, never mind. And I hmm, just slam. Okay, hi. Cool. Okay. Fair. Fair enough. That over there is... Wait, did I... Did I get up there somehow, or did I... Wait. Or do I... Mm, maybe if I... Go up again, I can... Pull up some sort of daring jump. I'm not quite sure. We're gonna have to... Try that one again, but we can at least... Put our Bloodhound's Fang back on now. Let's 
good thing I'm probably going to use it against Godric. Question is... Anything more over this way? Clearly does not seem to be the case. <laughs> so then, it really is a sort of... How to get over there from here. Oh, but... Wait. Hmm? Maybe in the... Church with Regier? You could... Go down there, maybe? I... Really don't know. This is strange. I... Yeah, but Rampart Tower is probably going to be the way over. That... A whole bunch of ledges and a door that I don't really have access to at the moment. And I need a little bit more for a level up. Mm. I could cash in right now, but probably not. I'm just going to keep on going. Now, we, yeah, we have eight flasks now, which is very, very nice. Hopefully make some things a bit less complicated. And mm -hmm. more speed would be good, but... Sell over what we can get from that. It's just... There's got to be a way over, and I prefer to find it myself. In the interest of, among other things, just... Time. I'm having to look it up and all. But... Nice. Don't jump away of that. And... Oh, come on. Got to be... Whatever. Come on, come on. And just... Really, really, really. Okay. Thanks. Thanks. And... Come on. Okay. Oh, I keep away from it, and I kill it, and it stays away from me. I guess that might be all I can really hope for. So clearly not around here. So then, how to get that other side? Other rampart that... Maybe I... I clearly can't drop down here, is the thing. That would kill me outright. That also is not an option. I really just... Huh. Door does not open from that side. Maybe if I checked around this part again, that had that one big exploding barrel one. It's a possible option, but I'm worried. And just, boom, yeah, whatever. Come on, just, thanks, thanks, and okay, two, bye. Is there anything over this way? And it, yeah, it still doesn't seem like it. So I really just wonder, how am I supposed to get down there? Hmm. So there's got to be some way. And I was able to jump onto this portion. But there's a bridge, a broken little bridge, a broken staircase that prevents you from actually getting up that way. Clearly you're supposed to be able to go down into it, but not up into it, and I just do not understand, is the thing. It really is just a... How am I supposed to manage? Hmm. Yeah, the lift side chamber, locked a door. Lift side chamber, locked a door. That, how to unlock it? Hmm. Right end. That ends. Oh. So the hidden path was somehow over this way. Okay. This wasn't jumping enough, I guess. Mm -mm. Well, whatever. As long as I can make it work. Thank you, Polygon.com. Hmm. So to parkour up and over here would be interesting question. Just, okay, there's nothing here, but... Oh, oh, this ledge! Like, from earlier, the ledges, and I... Okay, I may be stupid. I may be slightly unobservant. And then I... Hmm. Oh, and you are interesting. Strong foe, and then no precious item. Oh, you know, there's nothing I love more than a good fight. I... That's a banished knight. 
So the Epe is going to be a good option here. Use that and sneak up. Kill this guy. Oh, and it's one of the drag communion banish knights too. Oh, that's funny. Okay, so let's just Stormhawk and but you had your pet! Fun, didn't save you. And one more backstab and you're dead. Goodbye. Ah. That is nice that enemies don't have truly ridiculous turning speeds like they did in Dark Souls 3. This is just three lumps of flesh. You are like crafting food, I guess. Hmm. Let's continue on this way, and this is where we had to go. Alright then. Got bulls. Do we have any enemies through here, or time for rolling? We're not. Maybe I don't feel like it. Oh, but interesting, and this is... Another smithing stone, okay. A good amount of those too, actually, so. I could get some upgrades on some things now. Like the Great Epe, which has served me very, very well. Praise the birth re grief respite. Brief. Brief in the air, okay. Mm -hmm. Do it down here, be wary of right and. Hello there, commoner. One, and any more. It's no way they would drop down on me. That was nice. No item ahead. Yeah, you know, I think I could tell. That is very useful, actually. Thank you. Got some messages rated a bit earlier, but can I... Hmm, never mind. That was not as good as intended, but we could spear multiple at once that way, which is nice. For me, not them. Obviously. Oh, more... Is that even a firebomb or a... No, you're just throwing ruin fragments. Funny. I can stab over there. Keep on throwing rocks, I guess. Let's go those ceramic shards and stick it off. One, two. Let's back out so we can see everything. And... The manor tower shield. Large enough to cover the entire body. Rent it. Behold, yet yeah, in the case of champions... That's 100 physical damage, but I would literally need to wield that two-handed with something like Scar Seal. And this is surely what you seek is somewhere close by. Ah, uh, is in the Rajir stuff. Rajir is seeking, of course, the it's Cathedral Monticellus, which is going to be important much later on in the game. And Chapel of Anticipation is again right back there, but we won't be able to get there for a little bit later. We fire. Wait, what? Oh, because of the torture. I don't know. If we get down here, we can... Big claw. From a dragon or what? Maybe, I guess the question is... What dragon it would be. And who would have actually attacked... Stormvelt, presumably, while it was under... Godric's command. I can only think of Fortisax. A dragon that was, in fact, allied with the Golden Order blocking. This is... Wait. Can I... I guess so. Then... Why is it always bridge? Hmm. Then, yeah, we're back here. Door ahead and then Grace ahead. Rainbow stone. Then we can open that door up. Yeah, then I can fight Godric. There won't be much else left to do, even. Like Godric, and then, yeah, go to the bridge, open up the Divine Tower, and that'll be all, really. So what is this over here? Well, there's that broken part, which is... I wish that you could go around the other way, that would be fair. There's also the wedge drop down. Wouldn't make a huge difference. Still couldn't get all the way back up to the original spot. Oh, hello. Hi. Hmm. Hmm. Actually, no, not like that. I don't do much pairing. I don't really need the buckle or foot hoses down. Okay, thanks. Goodbye. Nothing past you here. Just an Arterio leaf. I'm not sure I know. What do you want to know if I know? The bat? Yeah, I suppose. Back to the cell, and we can take on Godric. I think. Let's 
gonna have to be Bloodhound's Fang. It is by far my best weapon at the moment. In, well, situationally, Epe also has its uses. I'll open take. Actually, maybe. Yeah, probably Endurance. Mm -hmm. Go over back to the hold and see if Regier is there yet. So he's not in that church where he originally sold his ashes, so. Sir Derek is gone. Oh, no, she's not. Jira's is not back yet, so I guess it really is until after Stormbell that all these things happen. I I mm -hmm. So we want to talk to Hugo again, or anything else? Let's see. Well, you're dead, all the same, by your arms. Actually, the question might be... No, I think that actually using the Epe on Godric would actually be better. There's a gap closer, among other things. Go oh, and... Oh, nice, we can actually get it to plus seven. Oh, but... That said, we also might want... Misericord... <clears throat> Stance breaks are actually going to be best with... Maybe a hammer? Maybe. Mm -mm. It's interesting to think about. And the brick hammer still needs... 31, which means another level would be neat. Strength would be needed. Mm -hmm. I don't have anything like Lion's Claw that I could use. To... Mm -hmm. Okay. Back over no matter. Big thing is about Roderica. What about her? Watch over her out of your mind. Who knows how to smith? Never agree to it. What she wants, refuse to believe it. Too could be true. Mm hmm. To do this back and forth. This Misericord is something we really want to level up. And. Oh, nice, nice, nice. Oh, we need more runes. Okay. It is one of the better crit weapons in the game. Okay. Simply. Strengthen it a bit further. So using Great Epe for Stance Breaks and then using the Misericord for... Yeah, this should be good. A seven. There we are. Cool. So in that case, we can probably talk to her again, get her to move over, maybe. If I do, I Try to own it, here to teach me, and... Let's reset the area and see if it changes the location. And it did, successfully. Nice. But yeah, Regier is not here yet. So... Hmm. Get that done. And is she... Not over here yet. Just Fia. Where has she gone? Well, to give her dead, all the same, wave her arms and... Turk, Sir Mithar, give her spirit tuning, everything I know, it's a tuner I met long ago, all I could do to honor her, doubted you. Okay. wonder where she is, she might be down here. She does not seem to be, let's check around a little bit more, but this was where we dropped down for some other stuff too. That fight against Mr. Around here. Fight against Mad Tongue Alberich, which... Maybe, maybe it was Kaya. Maybe it was actually Kaya all along. Hmm. Keep on going. Oh, no, she's right here. Oh, and she's taking off her hood, too. Persuading Master Hugh. And toil with spirit tuning. Accomplished? Certainly like to try. Suffered you men who are grafted. So you must try. Prentice. Make your acquaintance. Spirit tuning and... Runes and grave 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 boards, spirits, name spirits and ghost glove boards. Special ashes, Oleg, Engval, Wutel the head headless. Mm -mm. We can upgrade a few for cheap, just uh, if you've done three upgrades, she has some special dialogue if I recall correctly. Mm -mm. Alright. And spirit tuning and 
Let's see. How much we need to do. That. Wandering Noble. Mm -hmm. Is this actually upgrade? This one more time. It's weak. Well, she, she gives something after you do a bit of upgrades and come back, so let's, let's just see. Oh, alright. Well, she isn't set up here at the moment. In that case, we'll just go back to here. Actually, I want to test something out, which is we're in Storm Hill. The Misericord is what I want to use, but it is. Hmm. It's a dagger, but the question is. Would I be able to make it stronger using a certain skill? That skill is one that boosts your damage briefly. Well, damage of your next hit, and I'm wondering how that would interact with backstabs, is the thing. Is there a record in that? 155 versus Kick, Endure, Ground Slam, Step Determination. This is good. Quality, but that's actually less right now. Keen and 155 versus 153. 51, and this is still the best. I have good enough stats for it to be any better. So we can try a back set and see how much it increases things. Let's see. And 762. Cool. Alright. Should be good, but we'll see. 762 versus what is the thing? Hmm. Two versus determination. What's the damage of my next attack? Hmm. And 914. So that applied pretty handily. It was about a 20% slightly less increase. It was good. It's was real good. Hmm. So I suppose this is how it's going to get done. Hmm. Don't need much else, so... Let's stick with our Godric Soldier cosplay and take down Godric himself. Cool. I don't think we'll really be using spells, though, is the thing. Alright, then. Watch the cutscene. Mighty dragon. Get a lot of this guy. It might have just been that dragon leaving the claw marks, but it's kind of too small. Here's his axe. Check out these arms. Using. Head is incredibly tiny. It's just he's so disproportionate because it was originally much, much smaller. Alright. Mm -hmm. And alright, thanks. One. Two. And nice. And just run it. Impale and alright. Cool. Impale. Nice. There we go. And just do this and stop. Oh well we messed it up entirely. Never mind, we don't have that much time for that one. Hmm, okay, just dodge. Dodge. Hmm. Dodge. Hmm. Oh my goodness. 
Mm -hmm. Okay, well, we're okay. Mm. Keep our distance for now. Let's see how this works. One, two, and dodge, dodge. Okay, cool. Mm. Thanks, and just one, dodge, and okay. Two, and there we go. We can just use that and stab, and nice, and there we go. Cool, fun. And now we can just. Now you're gonna do some more things, and just. Yep. Dodge, and one, two, and can I. Okay, come on, just. You're gonna slam yourself first, so. Here's the phase transition. Get excited. Rest in peace, arm. Funky, huh? He has a reason for this. We'll see. Crafting. There you go. Yeah. He's not a very pleasant guy. In any way, shape, or form. Let's actually just use some flame fortification. Yeah, that's a good idea, just in case. Hmm. D dodge, and, okay. One, two, and nice, thanks, and all right, cool. Hmm, I, okay, thanks, and one, two, and there we are, just determination, and before you even use any fire, we'll just kill you. Goodbye. Yeah, I bet you are. It's a good death one. Great runes, lots of beneficial power. To restore to divine powers to the lands between. Which divine tower you should visit. Godric's great rune. Remembrance of the grafted. Fun. Big, decently big amount of runes now. Not all that much, actually, though. Hmm. And... We can go to that divine tower now, among other things. Lost grace discovered. Can level up once. Let's get a bit more intelligence. What's really interesting is that you can see that dragon in the arena is still decapitated, but if you blitz him down fast enough through usually something like a really good critical, you can actually skip his phase transition and the dragon will just keep its head. No desecration. Yeah, there we go. Cool. I don't think that Nefeli should be here anymore. Not at this point in the game. It was dead already. Okay. I don't want to have to mark you down for bitching and moaning, too. Okay. Let's keep on looking. Anything around here? Probably not. Mm -hmm. Well, at least you're self-aware. Does that just come with being Italian, or...? Here we can go to the throne room. We actually... I actually saw this from the other side before, because... We can actually approach this from the other side by going here to Lyurnia. Go over to... Understandable. As long as it works for you, I suppose. Mm-hmm. All right. It was really funny that you can just get on the other side and Godric is just immediately there. Would just be immediately on the other side, but you can't open the door from the back. Skip all of Storm Mill that way. Well, you can skip Storm Mill, it's optional. It's the most obvious pathway, including to oh, the second area over here, but it's it's optional. You actually only need to beat two shard bearers to win. 
looking on Godric's head. See how small he is without his grafting. What's interesting is that this guy Garstark in earlier versions was implied to maybe be a descendant of Godric too. Interesting. Pretty similar. No problem. No problem. Mm. There we go. Bye. Ain't nothing new yet. Eventually we'll stock some very strong upgrade materials. Now I can do whatever takes my fancy, can I? Mate. Mm. I don't know if you can mate. Okay. So the only thing left is just the tower. That's about it. Hmm. So I'll just get what hunts being back out. Oh, but right, let's take this off. You know, I actually quite like this Godric Knight cosplay. <laughs> it's just been the stuff we've gotten from drops, but killed some money of those darn knights that ended up getting a pretty cohesive outfit. Hmm. In the end, the best way to stance rig is going to be. Lion's Claw, I believe so. Nice, and... Can we... Hmm, alright. Cool. I don't want to kill this guy again. We'll see. One. And two. And just another. Slam, and... Oh, alright. Never mind, and... Now just one more, one more, and... Thank you. Well, actually, the Bloodlust got you. You actually managed to proc Bloodlust from this thing. Big question is just, is Nefeli actually going to be... She's still going to be here. Well, we could just check on the map, couldn't we? She's no longer here, yeah. The question is, did she leave anything behind? Presumably, Regier should be in a round table holding out, too. And we already got... Oh, and the banished knight she killed is no longer here as well. Okay. Let's go over there, then. All right. Hmm. In that case, I wonder if anything to say. Servant, companion since, fodder like this. Okay. So does Derek have anything special to say? Spirit tuning. Let's get another cheap one. Oh, but we need more grave glove work for that. Okay. Hmm. We'll level up the those guys. Actually, sure. Can you tell me now that we've done five, or after a certain point, I know she has special dialogue, but hmm. if you level up a certain number of ashes, she gives you a reward, I think. I'll check. Well, I, I would only be doing it for completionism's sake anyway, so it's not a huge issue. And here he is. Hello, Regier. He's kind of laid up now. He's dying of his illness slowly but surely. Mm. It's probably that death blight we saw him sort of get absorbed or afflicted. Well, we already got those. Back to the two fingers now. Looks like we both got what we wanted out of Stormvale, didn't we? Well done. Maybe so. Something to mark the occasion. Go on, take it. Now he's just giving us a sword. Oh, and I. Plus eight regiers. Even though we can't really use it. As you might have guessed, I yep. still can't move. No need to be polite. No use for it anymore. Hmm. I'll just see then. Regiers with Gwentblade failing, so that's good. It's also good for breaking stance. Pierce and hmm, thrust and sword. Spirit quality, intricate ornamentation, signature weapon, the source of Regier. Dexterity required to build the blade to its full potential. Master is a sight to behold. Characterized by a flowing style which excels in successive attacks. Should magic Gwent blades overhead, attack flows automatically, throwing Dike to chain it into a lunging thrust. 
I think you're gonna only get that on that weapon, but you can take it put it on something else. Mm -hmm. Oh, you can hear the buzzing of flies around him. Because presumably he's got some sort of rotting disease. Seen that. A feeble man sought power through the grotesque art, art of act of grafting. One day we'll return together to her home, bathed in rains of gold, which is also what the ghost by that tower of return in Weeping Peninsula said. Short bear Godric, devoid of any benediction. Seek the divine tower of William Grey, which stands beyond the Great Bridge from Stormvale Castle. Right. And a bit more dialogue from here, too. Corpse under Stormvale? Corpse under Stormvale. Mm -hmm. Famed knight of assassination is known. Gold may torn before the shattering. Malekith the Black Blade, who we've actually met already. Godwin the Gold, death of a demigod in all history. When it was smashed, the war known as the Shattering. Knowledge of that fateful plot. Crooked. Intend to put it to rights. I would make it this way. Blame for the shape I'm in now. Serve a death white curse. Not to serve it more than necessary. Mm, about D. About D. Friend of his. Interesting. Expression of death. The verge never again to cross. We can get for two friends. Hmm. The centipede. The centipede is a symbol of the curse mark. As long as whoever finds not nefarious by nature. By nature, then we may be able to form an alliance. An alliance. Then speak them in speak person. To them in person. And if they were like you, I think that might be all the better. Fia eventually. We'll see. Hmm. Oh. So. Hmm. Big thing is we can actually. No longer just a guest here, but I think we actually need to open things up first. Still has nothing to say to me, but... And now we can actually have audience with the fingers. Yeah. There we go, and the two fingers are literally two fingers. Rapture. Eh, yeah, okay. In front of the throne, too. All right. Are you that new tie? Maybe so. You don't know well. I am Emir, the finger leader. I interpret the words of the finger. I was the greater will. Tremble to welcome you. Way to mosh over you. Root of the Golden Order. Give her a grace, wellspring of all joy. It was shattered. The tragic corruption of the order. It's taken its toll. Well, my father's ruin fall to pieces. Oh, Curses and misery spread unabating. It's not damned the realm, nor the life that inhabits it. Too much guarded by grace, called to ask. Can some shard of the Elden Ring, neither of its kind, can the Elden Lord restore the Golden Order? The fingers guide you. There we go. So there are four, basically, that you can choose between in order to get. Well, actually, you can bypass getting root runes entirely if you take a separate route, but that's another story. Normally, you need two great runes and to defeat the Draconic Tree Sentinel to enter the sort of mid-game dungeon. Remembrance, gold found its way into your possession. Demigods are even the greater the champions. You might retrieve upon the end of remembrances. Valuable indeed. Power of the former masters, will that same power, strength of the fingers. A recall from my offer, got us all here to take. Oh, great runes, stuff of demigods. Children of America, vessel of the ring. They ward, none could become Elden Lord. Graces extend to the tarnish, they speak. Renounce the demigods. Their heads take all they have left. Number one thing, offspring of America, was distant, but divine blood story diluted. Mm -hmm. The others are stronger. Okay. Alright. So, Goldrick. From remembrance, one power claim, remembrance will be lost. 
could get either the Axe of Godric, which can't use yet, and it's okay. Godric the Grafted, figure of beast, representing the strength of Godric, first cell Nord, patriarch of the Golden Lineage, commanding Neil, Lord of all that is golden. Stand the ground for two shockwaves, or eventually a third. Also, Grafted Dragon's Arm, grafted to it, won't be two-handed like other fist weapons, from small dragons, but sharp dragon fangs. Your witness, glimpse of life, thrust the skyward, spinning flames over a wide frontward area. This one is actually quite good. I might try it on something. It is, among other things, good for stance breaking. Let's see. The dragon. Use it for to dragon stance damage. Hmm. Dragon. Dragon stance damage. 30, not charged heavy and. Oh wow. Hmm. Mm -hmm. Okay. Hmm. -hmm. Interesting. Interesting idea. Okay. Well, I'll take this. I don't need that axe. Fingers guide you. Now Gideon will let us in into the room, too. Hmm. Now it's open. We are really one of them now. Hello. Maybe so. Should remember the round table? Yep. Spends all his time reading the wiki. Assuming constant. Great runes. Delight with a little knowledge. Shard bearers. I'm including the one you defeated. Him already. We'll fight two. Well, we will fight all of them. He's not an option for getting into lane down because he's in lane down. Hmm. Of course. Godric. What of Stormvale? Fuel grass her power. Quiff to one graves northwest, but you've seen it already, yeah. Well enough already. Done. Scourge of the Stars, first as warrior. Stand still. Scarlet Rot, no mean feet to approach. Saving the rot with fire. There is well. But he's basically a zombie. Volcano men are not in Gelmir. Be of the Inquisitor's Serpentine Demeter. Quite literally. Got there eventually. Appalling battle. Interesting. Bless me, I may never be forgiven. Mandel, the capital city, foot of the Urdru in the east. Whereas for venturing there, great rooms to repair it. Bill Mother can wait. Nala? Of Lyrnia. And the Carrions govern the Academy. No demigod. But with this connected through a Radagon, a consort. Ember Egg, Radagon's gift to her. Alright, cool. Alright, cool. That's all for now. So that painting. Resume what we'll get from the chapel, I think. Two for you about Regier. Regier, pity is all hiding away from your spell, boy, in times past. As about as you're out of how clear of mind. No more, roused by thorns, muttering and rambling, half dead already, can't watch. Miss why those who live in death. It's people on the inside and breaks them. Hmm. Oh, alright then. 
Let's go to the Divine Tower real quick. We can hear the buzzing of flies. Go over here then. Also that painting. Mm -hmm. That'll be interesting. All right, that's where we are. Last thing we'll do today, I think. Should be more than okay. We just over here and a oh a bolt drake talisman. Lightning damage negation, living rock, dragon's head. I let's just test that out real quick. See how well it works. That grafted dragon. Fist can't be two handed. Just punch, punch. <clears throat> uh, this is a stance breaking machine. Possibly. We'll see. Still probably want a bit more of other stuff. Oh, actually, we could upgrade this thing. Yeah, yeah, it's fun. Then also, you can. Can I? There we are. You can hit with all that fire. It'll absolutely melt stuff. Put on one of those tree spirits and it should just tear it to pieces. Hmm. I think going to... Here to level this up a little could be nice. It is always fun to play around with new toys. Alright then. Tell a story. He spilled his mark. We'll hit your arms. Ah! He, now that we have a remembrance weapon, he's taking notice. Alright. Cool. Didn't have any of those, but we did make it a bit stronger. Go back to Limgrave. Actually, I guess the question is this might do more damage. Repost. I don't know. Hmm. We'll see. But the big thing is, they're golems past here that I'll want to take down using this fist, most likely. Start waking up. Hello there, Halberd Golem. Get over here. In the end, you can't actually just skip them if you really feel like it, but it's not necessarily how I'd want to do this. And... Yep, there we go. Just destroying that stance. And 133 and 4457. Insane. Okay. Alright. I want to see how much damage this does compared to the other options I've got. Right oh, I got a gold zomber. That's fun. Oh, but. Mm, the, the bow one is not fun to deal with. Okay, cool. Alright, uh, mm, mm. just dodge out of the way your arrow and... Oh, nice! That was... We managed to get it to strike at the foot of the other one. That's insane. And that... That actually does deal a bit more damage, but... We'll be fine. Okay. And just... Can we punch and... Mm. Oh, alright. Thanks. Cool. Cool. Hmm. One more, and just take them out. Hmm. Thanks. And one hit. There we go. Yeah. Okay, cool. But, it's a shame we can't do hand this thing, honestly. It is what it is. Reminds me of the bridge at the end of our truck and peak. And truck Souls 3. The question is, if I... I were to... Oh, that... How did that hit me? You're kidding. Okay, cool. Thanks. And just... Can I... Mm. Alright. And just... That worked too. It actually is a bit better than the dragon, frankly. Now, the big thing is I should be going for the... Fully charged heavy attacks more than anything else. This is still gonna be good for tree spirits. 
is probably going to be my devoted tree spirit breaker, but it was a fun it was fun to try, but this is still more or less usable for the same purposes. Corpse halberd, colossal weapon. Oh, we actually have a colossal weapon now. That said, the hammer ones are better. Can't even use that yet. Blackstone, crafted by civilization, now gone to ruin, wielded by the guardian golem. Charge forth. Hmm. What I do know is... Yeah, there is some stuff down there, so let's grab that real quick. Come on. Oh, come on. There we go. On the other side of one of those, the big thing is that this is separate into a bunch of pieces. Oh, we got the Asher War Scarab. That's nice. Headpiece, warm the head. Asher War during labors. Reduce the FP cost of skills. Increases damage taken. It's kind of the Asher War version of that incantation scarab we got earlier. Let's see down here. Down that tower. And that's the start of Storm Veil. Back up, open it up. Yeah. The big thing is, in the content, I mean, the network test version of this game, this bridge was actually complete, which means that you would have to go over the entire bridge somehow to get to the other side, but this actually skips you over the second portion in the middle, or right to the third portion at the end. Lots of birds here. Interesting. It's nice that this does not get put out by fire. Oh, it's an actual... It's the normal kind of Stormhawk, and that's fine. Cool. Oh, but they're probably weak to bludgeoning more than anything else, because birds of brittle bones and all. Maybe. If we had come here earlier, we would not have even been able to open this place. That's the thing. It only is openable after you kill the boss that drops the great rune this tower is meant to provide access to. Well, meant to activate, that is. And, cool. Let's see if we can get a foul fit from you. Never mind. I don't think these ones drop foul feet. Oh, they, okay, a silver pickled foul foot right there. This should be... Yeah, there's nothing here. It's a broken, shattered golem. Kind of sad, honestly. Oh, but actually, there was one more item. This is... There's five Stormhawk Feathers, but yeah, see, we skipped over that part in the middle. See, it's different than the one we actually dropped down to get the Asher Force Scare from. It's got that sort of filled-in channel in the middle. I guess they kind of figured... Maybe it might have been... They originally wanted you to use Torrent, but there were some coding issues. Maybe related to just the releases on Xbox One, PS4, weaker, weaker console stuff. Because people said, okay, why didn't they make Elden Beast fightable with Torrent before? And, you know, the most obvious answer is just they probably wanted to do it, but couldn't do it because of coding issues. And they just figured it out now, because... From software, God bless them. They are amazing at game design, but their coding abilities often leave a bit to be desired. I think most From Software fans would not want, would not deny that. On Tower of Wimgrave. Basically, that maybe they couldn't get Torrent to work on this bridge, and they kind of figured, you know what, we'll just have it skip over the bridge, or they couldn't find a way to make going over the bridge otherwise interesting or something. But, there's not even anything below, this is just a rising pillar. It's interesting. I'm not sure whether the DLC actually reveals why these things exist or were created, but... Some cut content restorations have shown that these towers were originally the centerpiece of what was called a cataclysm system. Where, I don't know if they still would have been tied to bosses. I think you were... I know that those Crucible Knights were originally supposed to be fought atop some of these towers, but... The big thing is that... Activating the stuff at the top of the towers would cause... Natural disasters that would change... Basically change the state of the world. And allow you to 
You know, access to different areas by causing landslides, earthquakes, and that kind of thing. It's interesting. Various isolated divine towers. One by the water that you have to teleport to, if I recall correctly. And there we go. Brood's over there, but if we killed it, it's not like we'd get its drops. If you use gravity or something. Power of the Great Rune, and there we go. Nice. Now Godric's Great Rune has been restored. Great Rune restored. Nice. That one might be useful for us, because it raises all attributes by five. Known as the Anchor Ring, found in the center of the Elden Ring. The first demigods were the Elden Lord Godfrey and his offspring, the Golden Lineage. Alright. So yeah, we've done more or less everything there is to do in Lindgrave, other than get through Gale Tunnel. And if, actually, some questline stuff related to... Well, and also there's the chapel, which we can't get back to yet, because we have to go through Lyurnia, but... Just gonna go activate the first Winter Grace and probably close things out for today. We got past Stormvale. Feel good about myself. First try Godfrey. I mean, first try Godric. That was nice. Just that the impaling thrust was just phenomenal. It. I'll have some other ways to deal stance damage, but we'll see. The big thing is that eventually I'll be able to get the Lion's Claw Ash of War, which is basically a forward flip, it's the Artorius flip. And if you put that on a colossal weapon, a hammer type colossal weapon, which to be fair, it'll probably be some time until we get a hammer type colossal weapon. It's also very good on a great hammer like this club, and you can use that as just a stance breaking tool. Where are you, boss? Oh, probably in terms of maybe if you had gotten around the other way. Just drop down. And... So over here we found a Shabriri Grape, which was basically a burst eyeball related to frenzy stuff. So through here we should be able to find Hyetta, who is just Irina, the girl from before, who revives after death with the power of frenzy. So that'll be nice. And oh no, she's right there. Hello, Hyena. And that is just Arena opposed to death, I believe. I think. Maybe. Still need a bit more to level up. Alright. <laughs> Talk to Oh, Boxer and Hyena. Good to see you Demi human. Which my sewing needle. Is your seam, sir? Nothing from scratch. Adjustments. Don't tell me. Wondering. Just miss your garb yourself. Job impossible. What about personal seamster? Alright. Hmm? An altar of these. Simple and. A simple and embroidered cape versus modest cloth cape. Both of those can be altered. Mentions not having the cape. Sometimes there's a different description when altered. You can do that to get rid of the cape, but I actually like having capes, though. Hello, Hyatta. Hello. Is someone there? My name is Hyatta. Search of the distant light. Arena, Shaburi Grapes. Yeah, but this is just possessed Irina somehow. Finger Maiden. Sure. It's not not a finger maiden of the two fingers, but of the three fingers. You are most kind indeed. All right. The blessing of the fingers be upon you. Should be a warming stone, I think. Not the as you wish. You are most kind. May the blessing. All right. So she will request more eventually, and then eventually lead to the frenzied flame cut quest line. But for now, we'll try these lake facing cliffs and fuck the scene, sir. But it does not mention Hyetta. 
Interesting. The map's right over there. Mm -hmm. So then, so then. We're going to get just around here in between. Wendell. Well, Altus Plateau and Limgrave. Okay, well, it is over here, but most of it is just this desert. Mm hmm. Just wondering, we're gonna make our way through a any of this. Wakey well of mists, and that right in front of me in the distance is Ryo of Karia, the Magic Academy, which is the main dungeon of this area. So that'll be fun. And see the crags of Mount Gelmir in the Volcano Manor eventually over there as well. And of course, Stormbell right behind us with a little bit of a little bit of gold. So yeah, I think it's a good place to leave off. I will see you again tomorrow, presumably. As in, just the background or the map? Or... The Ur tree is pretty cool. What is interesting is how spectral it is, how you can see. You can see through it. It gets... A bit more corporeal when you're close to it, as you might expect, but I will see through it to the mountaintops of the giants on the other side. But it it's pretty great. I'll say that much. Now, we've gone through Stormvale, so now we'll be on to Lyurnia next time. Lots of stuff you're done. But there is a lot we can get done before even going to Altus at all if we start the Radon Festival we can actually go down to Nokron which is basically this area it's the city that you see on top of Sivra that we couldn't actually access we'll access a good deal more of it once we open up a crater in here but until that I will Simple we be chill and take my weave and yeah, we'll go to Weirnia next time, but yeah. Cool. See you around and I did not mean to do that. See you around and yeah, Santa Thank you, I'm glad you liked it.